everyone in the mighty name of Jesus the presence of the Lord is here and I want you to know if you leave here and you're not delivered don't blame anyone and don't blame God I want to talk to those online because every day I learn something new from God as my sister read the request it reminds me of how human beings look at things if their names are not called when the person that is praying prays then they are somewhat upset and I said God then how can we allow these people to know that we touch you he says their names are called in my presence hallelujah so I want as of today when you hear the requests have been read online persons are those of you who are here your name is called to God before the prayer is prayed. So even before the prayer is prayed, you can be delivered. For what happened? Faith brings divine favor in healing. Somebody just bless the name of the Lord. Reach out and touch the Lord as he passes. one persons to believe God with me Hallelujah. can I get 21 persons to believe God Hallelujah. even as you lift your hands miracles are taking place right now and by this moment your needs to supply Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Savior. More. I feel like doing something different today than life to me. I am clinging, clinging close to thee. May thy precious blood apply. Keep me ever, ever near. Every day, every hour. Let me feel thy cleansing power. Father, we stretch our hands to thee. No other help. We know if you should draw yourself from us to whom and whether shall we go. Father, we are happy that you are here. Your presence is here. Your glory is here. Your anointing is here. You showed up before I came on this spot of ground. Hallelujah. And because you are here, we expect miracles in the name of Jesus. Lord, you declare signs and wonders. You say greater things shall we do because you go to your father. And because you have gone to your father. Today we come. We come, oh God, you say when we pray, we know not what to pray about, but the Spirit of God intercede on our behalf. As we intercede, Daddy, oh, as we intercede, Holy Spirit, we ask right now that you would show up in this very room. Lord God, we call to you from Montego Bay. We declare this center, the hub of deliverance and miracle. Lord God we come against every opposing spirit hallelujah to victory miracle and deliverance we bind up slew foot we bind up the strong man we bind up the adversary and we declare victory now father as we present these requests to you it would be impossible for me to live
miss none to call but you know the names have already been called so we submit ourselves to your sovereignty supernatural God God of favor God of power we come to you right now those with head conditions those who are depressed oppressed those with brain tumor those with cancer in the brain we come to you right now because all other gods they are the works of men we crucify self and we declare Lord God that those who are sick Hallelujah. in their head will be oh, victorious God. in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus we curse every attack every witchcraft oh. power subdue now in the name of Amen. Jesus Christ of Nazareth Hallelujah. we declare that such a person will not lose it they are not going to go crazy so father rest your hand to the power of your son Jesus Christ those with high situations we pray right now though God you are greater than any ophthalmologist you are the mighty God the everlasting father and the prince of peace Lord we declare new retina in the name of Jesus we declare 2020 vision in the name of Jesus to the power of the Holy Ghost we cancel surgery for the eye and we declare that somebody will not see you just spiritually but they shall see you in the natural father we come to you those with short condition hallelujah cancer in the throat hallelujah infection in the throat we come to you Lord God and we ask that you will just pass your hands over those throats right now in the mighty name of Jesus we speak to the hearing of somebody that they will be delivered right now we declare the supernatural in the house today in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth pain in the hands we ask that you would touch them somebody have done surgery and cannot lift their hand I pray right now as we pray that the power of the Holy Ghost will come upon such a one and will touch them and they will be able to lift their hands and praise you oh God we pray for the chest pain right now in the name of Jesus we pray you'll touch somebody touch somebody on the back touch somebody on the waist touch somebody on the legs touch somebody hallelujah down on those foot right now father we get internal we come against every complications of the body you say in your word by your stripes we are healed we command cancer to know that Jesus is the healer blood cancer hallelujah brain tumor shrink in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth fibrous fibrous condition fibrous condition we speak to to you and we declare that the blood flow will dry up now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we command the lungs we command the lungs we command the lungs to breathe freely now we come against every congestion and we declare deliverance in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus yes Lord those who are on dialysis those who are on dialysis the medical hallelujah hallelujah fraternity does not believe in divine healing can I ask you to prove yourself to a medical philosopher today hallelujah that this is the last time that person is coming back on the dialysis machine in the name of Jesus we terminate every terminal condition in the name of Jesus prostate cancer Ramama Kondo Kendo Bashi Kotoria 
state cancer. We speak to you under the authority of the Holy Ghost. Your time is up. Rectal cancer, womb cancer. Oh, we dismiss you from the bodies of God's people in the name of Jesus. Every cancer. Hallelujah. We shatter the confidence of the adversary today in the name of Jesus. And we decree and declare no weapon created, born, or sent shall prosper for your presence is here. Show up. Show up, show up, show up. We come against the spirit of bewitchment. We come against the spirit of the bewitchment, witchcraft, sorcery, and obia. We put you on the foot now. For God has given us power to trample upon you. I declare that tummy that keep rising. Hallelujah, that the power of the Holy Ghost will cause that tummy to shrink now. In the mighty name of Jesus. You hailing foot. You swelling foot. I speak to you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. You shall no longer. Come in the peace of God. I speak to fear. I speak to fear. I speak to fear today. You shall no longer. Hallelujah. Control us. I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child. I am a child. I am a child of God. Hallelujah. Fear. We can't steal mission. We are about your purpose. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You say in your word that you can do exceedingly, abundantly, hallelujah, according to the power that worketh in us, a feel Holy Ghost power working from my inside unto my outside. The visa processor. Go green card, hallelujah, hallelujah. controller. I ask right now that those who are held captive by the adversary, I command every documentation to be released right now in the name of Jesus. I wish somebody would shout in the name of Jesus. Devil, I don't care how long. I don't care any, how many years. This is a new season. And we declare it's our time now. God, you are not partial. You are the same yesterday. Today and forever. I feel like I'm giving birth to somebody today. Father, we call upon you right now. And we ask through the power of the Holy Ghost. That you are the supervisor of heaven and earth. Heaven is where you dwell. And earth is your foot soon. We pray that your foot will work a miracle in a family right now. Father, we ask right now. Father, we present marriages in your hand. We present marriages in your hand. The devil ate marriages. The devil wants mankind to shock up. And the very moment, hallelujah, we declare who you join together. Let no man put asunder. Satan wants to make it difficult. But Lord, remember when you made man and woman, you declared that's good. So we revert every order of hell right now. And we declare that that's good. And such a marriage. We 
come against misunderstanding. We come against misunderstanding. We declare reasoning ability in the name of Jesus. We come against every grandmother. We come against every mother. We come against every father and the uncle both. And that marriage and we declare it shall work in the mighty name of Jesus. Deliverer, problem solver. We come to you. Provider, we come to you one more time. The devil wants us to believe that when we start serving you, it's separation time. Oh, hallelujah, Lord, you declare. Your anger lasts just for a moment. Weeping Nandolia Shiva Kotoria Masanda Ribokoshima Kotoria Hai Andosio Satoria. Somebody has been weeping for too long. You declare weeping may endure but for the night, but joy cometh in the morning. I decree and declare today, hallelujah, that the weeping is over. And this is the hour of joy and victory in somebody's life. Somebody show victory in the mighty name of Jesus. Ruminate this room. Power of the Holy Ghost flow through this room and touch like you have never touched before. Deliver like you have never delivered before. Walk on life. Walk to every address. In the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost mailman. Hallelujah. Yes, I see you dropping off some slip of healing, deliverance, victory and faith favor somebody shout favor somebody hold up your neighbors and say favor in the mighty name of Jesus glory to God Give him some praises now. Give him some praises. Give him some praises. Shout a hallelujah unto the Lord. Before I hand over the microphone, I want all the ministers in the house just to come right where I am. We are not gonna quit. We are not gonna quit. We ain't going nowhere. In the mighty name of Jesus, young man, I call upon you because you are strong. I release power Glory to beyond the norm Glory upon you now in the name of Jesus. Somebody point to you and the servant of God and declare hallelujah his hands. I declare these hands healing hands. In the mighty name of God. Lift them up, 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 lift them up. For the next seven days to tell you you're married, your wife, that God is going to take care of us. He's going to do the miracles. He says he has heard your cry. Just come and circle me. Just come and circle me. Just, just come and circle me. Rest your hand on my shoulder. Ministers, come. Father, we come in the name of Jesus. We recognize God that the enemy 
is after your ministering servants. But right now, we counteract every force of darkness. We cancel the mission of the adversary. We come against the vision in our camp. And we declare, united we stand. Divided we fall. The enemy wants to smite the shepherd. Shepherd and scatter the sheep. But we said not in the New Testament church of God. Now oh God, help me Jesus. Testament Church of God in Jamaica. You have just called a heavy burden to come down upon me. For Bishop Rye notice. You call Bishop Rye notice to the mission. I see him hanging high, stretching wide, like your son Jesus was on the cross. But I pray you will embrace him. Help him to know that he is a Mordecai. And no power that demon shall survive over a Mordecai. I declare that every enemy of the Bishop Roy notice shall be hung up on their gallows in the mighty name of Jesus. And we declare a shift, a shift, and God's divine favor upon the New Testament Church of God in Jamaica, land we love. Let the people of God shout the hallelujah. hallelujah. Let the people of God shout the hallelujah. hallelujah. Can I hear the church shout the hallelujah? hallelujah. Hallelujah. So as I hand over the microphone, Father, we ask today that you will charge the preacher's battery behind his volume control. We ask Holy Ghost that you will take Bishop Eckburn into the courts of glory, places that he has never been. Today the enemy has touched the volume higher, but you have taken it to another level. We declare that your servant, spiritual eyes, will be wide open and we shut down. Hallelujah. Lord, Hallelujah. Bishop Eckburn is your son. Jesus. He has prayed. Jesus. Right now he's charged. He wouldn't mind taking the microphone. But the enemy is on campus. The sent vendors of hell are here but we stretch our hands and we bind them up in the name of jesus christ of nazareth somebody lift your hand and bind up the enemy now in the name of jesus bless the name of the lord hallelujah 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 come on church with a praise on it hallelujah feel it feel it with the worship feel it with the praise
found in the sanctuary. Oh God Almighty, be lifted up, God. Be lifted up, God. For the word, mighty God, bless your man servant today. Hallelujah. Ah, God, show off and sh show up and show off, God, in the name of Jesus. At this time, Church of God, we'll be having a special item from Brother Sanjay and Company. Oh, God, God, we praise and we wor we worship you. We bless you tonight, today, Jesus, from the Sunshine Company. Hallelujah. And the next voice you hear will be that of Reverend Lepold Francis to introduce to us. Hallelujah. Reverend Hepburn. Hallelujah. In the care of God. Come on, can we keep the praise going? Is there a hallelujah shout in the house? God has been good to you. Let me see those hands lifted high. Can we mock the enemy this morning by waving our hands in the atmosphere? And can we just go ahead and shout a hallelujah? Can somebody go ahead and shout a hallelujah? Hallelujah. 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 I hope as we minister hallelujah. that your hearts will be blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the dark of the midnight, as I often hid my face, while the storm holds above me, there is no hiding place. Mid the crash, hallelujah. Of the thunder, precious Lord, hear my cry, hallelujah, keep me safe, till the storm passes by. Can I do that for somebody again this morning? In the dark. Of the midnight, as I often in my face, who are the stars hold above me? There is no Precious Lord, hear or cry, keep me safe till the storm passes by. Oh, till the storm passes over. Let's be 
Somebody go ahead and praise the Lord. Somebody go ahead and shout a hallelujah. Can I hear the fasting shout another hallelujah? hallelujah. Can I hear the over 2,000 people online help them to shout hallelujah? Help the over 2,000 people to shout hallelujah. Can everybody shout hallelujah? Can everybody shout hallelujah? Can everybody for the last time shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Glory oh, to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh God, I hear a picture cry. Help her, help her. Somebody help her to praise the Lord. Go ahead, somebody help her to praise the Lord. Somebody go ahead and help her to praise God. I hear a victory cry in the house. Somebody praise God. It's come. She's coming out. She's coming out. Somebody go ahead and help her to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh God. 
God Almighty. God is in the house. And while the Holy Ghost is working, I don't want to stand in the preacher's way. Bishop Steve Hepburn is a man that needs no introduction. He's God's choice servant. God's choice servant at such a time as this. He's here with the word from heaven. And at this time, I want to allow him and the Holy Ghost to do what God sent him here to do on that assignment. Put your hands together for the man of God, Bishop Evangelist Steve oh, Hepburn, in the name of the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Jesus. Somebody praise the Lord. Mm. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Go ahead and praise him, everybody. Go ahead and praise him. Yes, Jesus. Go ahead and praise him, everybody. Go ahead and praise him, everybody. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. To God be the glory, great things he hath done. You may be seated if you can. Glory to God. Privileged am I to be back in Montego Bay one more time. Amen. To share in this your fasting service. Amen. I give God honor. I give him praise. I give him glory. I recognize the Holy Spirit, the head of my life. Let me recognize Bishop Ruel Robinson, Senior Pastor and First Lady, Sister Ruth Robinson. Amen. Reverend Leopold Francis and Sister Francis, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Put your hands together for your leaders, everybody. All my other ministerial colleagues, I see Bishop Small from overseas. It's good to see a size somewhere around. I just bless God for him and his wife and his family. Amen. And all the other ministerial colleagues, moderator, praise team, musicians, those online, friends of Montego Bay, I greet you well in Jesus' name. Amen. Greetings, everybody. Amen. Come on. Greetings, everybody. Amen. Hallelujah. It's another year. Amen. It's another year. And I have been with Bishop Robinson from the commencement of this five days of deliverance fasting. Amen. Wherever he's at. And I'm thankful to Almighty God that he can still consider uh, me to be a part of his lineup each year. Not of any goodness on my part. But it's all because of the grace of Almighty God. Somebody just praise the name of the Lord. I am happy to have three of the brethren from the church in which I'm pastoring. Amen. Officer Richards, uh, Brother Kirby, and Officer Jordan Meek. I'm going to ask them to stand there from the Spalding New, Spalding New Testament Church of God, the cathedral. And by now you should know that I have switched. Amen. Bishop have, rem have transferred me and so I am currently pastoring the Spalding's New Testament Church of God, the cathedral. Amen. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I take no credit. I take no glory. I owe it to Almighty God. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Would you lift your hands and praise God, everybody? Amen. The heavyweights, the better preachers, amen, have gone already. Amen. And so you normally save the Kirtley Ambrose and the Courtney Walsh for last. I bless God for the work that they have done and the anointing that God has placed on their lives. Amen. And I go after them with the anointing that God has placed on my life. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Delivering the captives. Releasing the blessings. Somebody praise God. Daniel chapter 3. We'll read verses 17 and 18 and then we turn our attention to verses 24 through to 26. If it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us 
from the burning fiery furnace and he will deliver us out of thine hand O king but if not but if not be it known unto thee O king that we will not serve thy gods nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up somebody praise God verse 23 down and these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down bound into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Then Nebuchadnezzar, the king, was astonished and rose up in haste and spake and said unto his counselors, Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt. And the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the, to the, mouth of the burning fire furnace and spake and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, his servants of the Most High God, come forth. Oh, somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. He says, come forth and come hither. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth of the midst of the fire. Somebody praise God. What a God. Somebody say, what a God. Somebody say, what a God. Our God is well able. Can I speak to us on that topic? Our God is well able, well able to deliver the captives, and He's well able to release His blessings upon His people. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. It is Brother John Wesley, one of our renowned missionaries, who wrote a letter to. William Wilberforce, another missionary, whilst he was upon his deathbed, he wrote the letter for to encourage Brother Wilberforce, encourage him in his prolonged fight against slavery in England. This was what Brother Wesley penned to Brother Wilberforce. He says, unless the divine power has raised you up, I see not how you can go through your glorious enterprise in opposing that abominable practice of slavery, which is the scandal of religion, of England, and of human nature. He says, unless God raise you up, for this very thing, you will be worn out by the opposition of men and devils. Somebody praise God. What he says, unless God raise you up for this very thing, you will be worn out by opposition and devils. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. Make sure God has raised you up called you and appointed you for this thing or else mm. there are some people who are taking on some stuff and some things that they are not called for that they are not anointed for Lord God 
It's too early, Sister Ruth, to put myself in problem. I said, there are some people who are taking on to themselves some ministry activities. Lord God Almighty. Some operations and performances in church. If you are not called and anointed for it, left it. Demons and devil will kill you. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Hell will oppose you. Men will oppose you. And if you are not called for it, you'll become a victim and disappointed. Woo. Somebody praise God. Unless God raise you up to preach, put on the microphone. Unless God raise you up to lay your hands on the sick, leave the sick alone. Unless God raise you up to trample and tear, leave it alone. Somebody help me here. I say this and I move on. Far too long, we have too much of a copy pickers in church. Too much of a what? Copy pickers. Come on, somebody help me here. There are some people in the church who have cloned others' operation and anointing. And so you don't know who they are what they are come on somebody help me here lord god if you're anointed for a ministry stay in the calling stay under your anointing stay where god has placed you somebody don't like this opening statement but unless you are called for it left it somebody praise almighty god somebody praise almighty god you don't hear the pastor preaching to you unless God call you and anoint you, empower you and appoint you, leave it alone. Jesus said to his disciples, you can do it, you know. You can do it, but this kind comment not out. Self that you're using can't do it. You have to go into deep prayer. Look at your neighbor, say deep, call it unto deep. And so Wilberforce wrote to brother, uh, Wesley wrote to Wilberforce and says, unless God raise you up for this very thing, you'll be worn out by the opposition of men and devils. Somebody praise God. But I hear him says in the letter by quoting the words of the scripture in his letter. He says, but if God be for you. God, somebody help me here. He says, brother Wilberforce, if God be for you, who can be against you? Are all of them together stronger than God? The question he asked. He says, my brother. As you carry out this long mission to preach against slavery and this thing that is not of God, as you carry it out, can I ask you a question? Are all of them stronger than God? He says, then go on in the name of God and in the power of his might. Somebody praise God. Can I say this? This is what I want to say. If God has given you a task, be not weary in, do, in doing well. If God has given you a task, be not weary in well doing. Somebody praise God. The moment we become weary in well doing, frustrated, and begin to complain and throw down our tools and weapons. Perhaps God had not called us in the first place. Because if God has given us a task, he's going to equip us. He's going to take us through. Even when the oppositions are many. Come on somebody. Because 
People who oppose don't oppose what is wrong, they oppose what is right. My God, somebody help me here. I said, so often people oppose what is right. So right now, I am under opposition. Because, ah, uh, somebody praise God. So if I am preaching and hell is opposing, I ain't going to stop preaching because I'm doing the right thing. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. So if you are doing the right thing, expect people to oppose you. Because the devil doesn't oppose what is wrong because it is going in his direction. Am I talking to the church of the living God? And so, our God is well able. Come with me, church of God. A portion of scripture, a passage, and then happening in the, in the in olden days that is quite familiar to many. It has to do with Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. It has to do with three boys who were captives in Babylonia. In Babylon, somebody praise God. It says, according to the text before us, there, there it is that Nebuchadnezzar uh, deliberately made an entire statue of gold to say that the day of his reign and authority would never end. Am I talking to the church? And in contradiction to God's declared plan, somebody praise God. So what Nebuchadnezzar did was to make a statue of gold of himself and this was in contradiction to God's plan because in the very, uh, in the very commandment she said thou shalt have no other gods oh you don't like this kind of thing here and so nebuchadnezzar upon building the statue of gold oh somebody praise the name of the lord ah an entire statue of gold ah what he did is was that he arranged a massive festival of babylon somebody praise god he arranged it around the golden statue that he has built it was a great occasion let the church say great occasion the emperor himself was there along with the nobility lord god government officials judges and magistrates all big men and women if you may came out all officials magistrates those in leadership position and all and otherwise came out for to uh, celebrate with nebuchadnezzar the statue that he has built are you still there church there was plenty of fun and plenty of food and there was plenty of music. It was an image of gold. The image was more like a symbolic monument rather than a normal statue. It was 90 feet or 30 meters high, 9 feet wide or 3 meters wide, whichever you choose to use. Ah, this statue being so large, it is safe to say that it was not made of solid gold but probably wood overlaid with gold am i talking to the church this was a common method of construction in the ancient world there was the demand that all come to the dedication ceremony somebody praise god I said the demand, the command was given that all should come to this dedication ceremony. This was to mean that Nebuchadnezzar's decision was to use the worship of this image as a test of allegiance. Somebody praise God. Ah, Nebuchadnezzar's grand idolatry was accompanied by music, elaborate and well-produced music. Is the church still there? And so, brothers and sisters, when I talk about idolatry, idolatry is much more than bowing down or burning incense to a physical image. Ah, an idol has no real existence. Are you there? The stone, the precious metal, wood is real, but there is no God behind it. It only reflects the imagination of the one who designed it or the impersonation of the demon who deceives through it. Am I talking to the church? Come with me, church. Idolatry is having an any false god, any object, any idea, any philosophy, any me know them not like me, you know. That's why them God. 
Now I know I must travel with my own musicians. Remind me, Spaulding. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Idolatry is having any false god, any object, any idea, any philosophy, any habit, any occupation, any sport, or whatever that has one's primary concern and loyalty, or that to any degree decrees your trust in and loyalty to the Lord. My brothers and sisters, there is no other God but the God of the Bible. There's no other God but the God of the Bible. Thank you, sis. There's no other God but the God of the Bible. And he is a jealous God who will not tolerate the worship of another. I know the Holy Ghost tell me from here, come say you're going to be in a hard time, a man to go be today. Somebody praise Almighty God. There is no other God but the God of the Bible. There are some people who have set up some little monuments. Have set up some little something in their house. Oh God, somebody talk about to me there are some people who have erected some stuff and have now called them gods somebody praise god but the christian community will not bow to any other god somebody praise god because there is only one creator all things are oh somebody praise god everything else is but created there is only one creator Oh, somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. God is a jealous God. He will not tolerate the worship of another. Isaiah 48 11. God says, My glory, my glory, my glory will I not give to another. Exodus 34 14 says, You shall not worship any other God, for the Lord whose name is Jehovah is a jealous God. From Manchester to tell Moby, too much false God. Lord God set up in the city. Lord God, too much man. Ah, ah somebody praise God. Too much pay, ah, too much pay all God. Too much Nebuchadnezzar statue. Somebody praise God. Come back to the heart of worship. Somebody, ah, somebody praise Almighty God. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. God. Delivering the captives, Lord God, releasing the blessing. It's only God oh, can deliver captives, Lord God Almighty. Idol gods, monuments, and statues cannot deliver captives. There are some of us who are held captives, there are some of us children who are captives, there are some of us who are in captivity. But I call you to a God, I introduce you to a God who can and deliver he's a 24 hour deliverer he's a oh god almighty he's a 12 months of the year deliverer glory to your name jesus hallelujah oh god somebody pray for me today somebody pray for me today my glory my glory my glory will i not give to another somebody praise god hallelujah glory to your name jesus let's look at the simple outline of the chapter Verses 1 through to 12, we find the command and accusations. In verses 13 to 18, we find the trial and faithful response. In verses 19 through to 30, we see the judgment and deliverance. My brothers and sisters, somebody said that this statement could be the main statement of the text. Is that King Nebuchadnezzar and all his officials acknowledged Jehovah God as the most high. God somebody praise God hallelujah 
Isn't that oh. fitting to be the main idea? The main statement, come on, somebody help me here. That after all is said and done, after all the objectives and the oh. purpose that Nebuchadnezzar had in building the statue, yes. Lord God Almighty, none of that was fulfilled. But another purpose was revealed. Yes. That God is the most high God. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Yes. We who are called Christians, yes. we who are calling on the name of the Lord Hallelujah. must hereby stand for the gospel stand for Jesus Amen. that Hallelujah. those who would have wanted us to do otherwise can't help but say all of the gods they are the works of men and you are the most like God Hallelujah. somebody praise God down here oh, it's your name Jesus Hallelujah oh. Somebody shout something down here. Somebody shout something in Montego Bay. Hallelujah. Oh. He was soon to find out. I said Nebuchadnezzar was soon to find out. Like Pharaoh of old, he would learn that the God of Israel is to be heard and obeyed. Yes. The God of Israel is able to deliver his people. So what? Nebuchadnezzar will soon learn that the God of Israel must be heard and obeyed. Amen. And two, he must learn. And this is the situation. This is the happening that is going to teach or help Nebuchadnezzar to understand that the God of Israel yes. is able to deliver his people. Amen. Somebody Hallelujah. praise Almighty God. Lord, I come I down God. here today Hallelujah. to allow you to know that my trip coming here was to broadcast and proclaim claim that the God of Israel, yes. the God of the Christians, oh, Jehovah God, God is able to deliver his people. Yes. So those who are introducing oh, another God, another option, Hallelujah. I refuse every other oh, option, everything introduced yes. that is not of God. I denounce it. Yes. I, uh, somebody yes. help me preach now. Here. In the Hallelujah. name of God, stop allowing people to introduce you to other gods, yes. other options. Like God, tell them you're satisfied Hallelujah. with the God. For the God that we serve is well able. Well able. And if you not deliver me today, Hallelujah. tomorrow now pass. Hallelujah. And if tomorrow pass, yes. January now done. For I am next in line. Yes, for a blessing oh. I've waited oh. much too long I can't give up now yeah, somebody wave your hand oh. and say no 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 I can't give up now no oh, it's your name Jesus Church of God, you're coming with me, you're praying for me. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Uh, journey with me. Our God is well able to deliver us from one Nebuchadnezzar's furnace. Somebody said the furnace. So we're going to look at the furnace. We're going to look at the boy's faith. And we're going to look at the, far, the fourth man. Come on, now somebody help me here. So we're going to look at Nebuchadnezzar's furnace. Yes. We're going to look at the boy's faith. And we're going to look at the fourth man. Yes. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Somebody praise God. Oh, God. Somebody Hallelujah. praise God. Hallelujah. We have Nebuchadnezzar's furnace. Hallelujah. Somebody say Nebuchadnezzar's furnace. Hallelujah. Oh God, when you look at verses 6, verse 11, verse 15. 15c verse 19b and verse 21 it tells us about Nebuchadnezzar's furnace amen can I preach in this house amen hallelujah somebody praise the name of the Lord yes, somebody Come praise the name God. of the Lord God. somebody praise the name of the Lord hallelujah Greetings, Bishop. The countryman, the boat. Somebody praise the name of the Lord hallelujah. somebody shout hallelujah hallelujah so let's look at Nebuchadnezzar's furnace. In verse 6 it says, And whoso falleth not down and worshipeth shall the same hour be 
cast into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Another part where furnace is mentioned in the text is in verse 11. It says, and whoso falleth not down. Listen man, he is repeating, he's, he is ensuring that he emphasized. Uh, he, he's just pointing out how serious he is and how determined he is that if you don't worship Lord God, the image that he has set up, then the fiery furnace is going to be your lot. Am I talking to the church of the living Amen. God? These monitors light. Bring me upon them. Somebody praise almighty God. And so verse 11 emphasizes that. And verse 15c emphasizes it again. But if he worship not, he shall be cast the same hour into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. And who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hands? Oh, what a fierce little brute. Come on, somebody. But then you will see who is that God. Some people will soon know who is your God. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. It's not going to take long for some old Jezebel, some old witch, some old harlot, a man, a man in the Holy Ghost. So let me go, you know. Somebody praise God. Some opposers and demons from hell will soon know who is the God of tree water lead. Who is the God of Spalling Cathedral? Who is the God of Small? Who is the God of Robinson? Who is the God of all fear God? Somebody praise God. You will soon know who is my God. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Verse 19b says, we're talking about the furnace. What 19b says, Lord God, therefore, he spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace one seven times more than it was wont to be heated. Somebody praise God. Right now, as you're in fasting, revelation, shakandala bahuti kya. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Your enemy is heating up the furnace that he or she intends to thrust you into. But let them heat it. They are only heating it for themselves or for those who are working with them. Lord God, I feel the preaching machine warming up. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Right now I am in fasting. I'm middle care. Middle care. One Nebuchadnezzar and his agents want to plot a door against my life or my ministry. I want to send a message to Nebuchadnezzar and those who are at Nebuchadnezzar's camp that the angel of the Lord. Jesus Christ, why, 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 the angel of the Lord. Come on, hallelujah, glory to your name, Jesus, hallelujah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah, somebody shout hallelujah, hallelujah. somebody shout hallelujah, hallelujah. somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. A day five. Hell is mad. Hell is upset. But upon this rock, Jesus Christ, don't leave the warriors. Upon this rock, I build my church and the gates of hell. Whoa. Somebody lose. Somebody shout yeah. Upon this rock, I build my church and the gates of hell shall not, will not, cannot, will never have dominion. Somebody praise God. Why say behold? I give you power. Power to bind. Power to lose. Power to set captive free. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 
Let's look at verse 21. Mighty God. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 21 says, Then these men were bound in their coats, their housing, and their hats, coats and pants and everything, hat and everything, and there were and other garments, and were cast into the midst Glory. of a burning fire furnace. My God, my God. There are some people in this meeting and in the leading, Glory. within the listening of my voice. The enemy have thrown you in a furnace. Hey. You're there fasting, hey. but you're in a furnace. Jesus, Jesus Christ, I want to preach nice, son of Bishop. <laughs> Bishop, pray for me. Let me preach nice, son man. I want to preach nice. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. 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 Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. You've been through the fire. But I have no desire. Somebody help me to go back again. Are you talking to the church? Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. I've been through the fire. I've been through the furnace. I've been through some hot battles. I've been through some hard situations. I've been through some hot persecutions. But I'm still here. Somebody say, I'm still here. The furnace didn't kill me. The furnace didn't swing me. The furnace didn't hurt me. Look at your neighbor, say furnace can't hurt me. The furnace of Nebuchadnezzar cannot hurt the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly. Montego Bay. You love preaching, but you're not going to keep me here long today. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor. Say neighbor. My ways. My steps are ordered by God. God know me where. God know me path. God know which direction my life should go in 2023. So it doesn't matter what Nebuchadnezzar and his agents want to try. The way of the ungodly. Function neighbor, say neighbor. The way of the ungodly shall perish. Somebody praise God. Some ungodly people have some dirty ways. Every try you try, they try at you. Every move you move, they try to move at you. Lord God, every advance you advance, they set up hurdles and roadblocks to delay you. But no weapon. Somebody praise God. No weapon. No weapon, 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 no no weapon, yes, no weapon, 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 no no weapon, no weapon, no weapon, 
upon the go 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 upon the Yes, sir. Hey. Go upon the 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 Go upon a, 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 go upon a. You never small will not have to nurse a widow sister. Jesus, the Holy Ghost Church, God. Go Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah, man. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Never run over, go hook up your sister, man, and say no weapon. 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 Man, go hug up your sister, brother-in-law. No weapon, 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 no That everything is gonna be alright. Oh, I've got a feeling that everything is gonna be alright. Yeah. I've got a feeling that everything is gonna be alright. Be alright, be alright, be alright. We are the one that shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. 
What's, what's the relevance of what just happened? The Holy Ghost says, the run that Bishop ran a while ago, Lord God, about a thousand voltage of Holy Ghost current have just been dispatched into every bench, into every chair, upon every soul. And right now, if you're sick, you're healed. If you're bound, you're released. If you're a captive, Sit down. Mm. Sit down. Jesus. Sit down, please. Mm. When I think about Jesus, what he's done for me. When I think about Jesus, and how he's done me free, I want to dance, 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 Let me continue to look at Nebuchadnezzar's furnace. But look at your neighbor, say, neighbor, can I break a news to you? Can I break a news? Just now. <laughs> say, just now. About a minute ago. Say, just now. About a minute ago. Can I tell you, I've got it. Say, I've got it. I got it. I was sick, but I got healing. I was oppressed, but I got deliverance. I got Squeeze your neighbor, bounce your neighbor, say neighbor. You don't know, but I've got it. I've got, ah, got healers. Hey, somebody respond. Somebody raise your hand and say, God is, God is able. God is able to deliver the captives. And he's able to release his blessings upon his people. Look at this. Let's look at the furnace for about another minute and a half. The furnace that Nebuchadnezzar was so determined that the boys who refused to bow would be tossed into. It was made, it may have been a brick clean, perhaps used in making the base for the golden image. The top was like a chimney where smoke from the furnace could escape. It could serve a second purpose as well. Offenders would be cast into the fire by being thrown down from above. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. So what they're saying is that the chimney on the surface, on, 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 on the chimney on the furnace served two, one of two purposes. Yes? So you can either throw down the offenders, the guilty ones, through the chimney into the furnace, or it is, and also it is the way for the smoke to escape. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Church, at the bottom of the chimney, there was a door or a hole through which fuel could be added and air for combustion was introduced. Come on, somebody. What a furnace. The charges. Look at the charge. My brothers and sisters, Nebuchadnezzar now got the news that his music had been played and there were three boys who refused to bow. In every entity organization, 
Lord God, set in church and otherwise, you have news carriers. Good. You have them in the choir. You have them in the council room. You have them in the prayer room. And nothing is wrong with carrying news, but make sure you carry the right news. Carry the news that is what? That can edify, that can build up, that can contribute to the growth and advancement of the world. Any other news carry for to bring down others to lift up yourself. Come on, somebody. God, that is what God doesn't like. I want to mash up some things in a man to go here today. Come on, somebody. You see, there were some bad minders. Lord God, down in a Babylon. Because they said Nebuchadnezzar carrying these three boys. Give them clothes and food. And now look how these boys are disrespecting him. And so they felt bad. Because they were saying, look how these boys are getting more recognition, favor and attention than we who are legitimate people of the land. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. But I said something in Spaulding's on the first Sunday of January when I took up my assignment. I said that our position of relevance has caused many people to oppose us. Our position of relevance has caused many people to oppose us. The reason why some of us have been opposed is because our position is relevant. Talk to me, no man. Talk to me, no man. Talk to me, no man. Church of the Living God, the boys refuse to bow. Everybody else on the parade square, in the big open lot, wherever it was held, was bowing. So Nebuchadnezzar no more see that three persons aren't bowing. So why you should go? Jesus Christ, somebody help me. If all others are bowing and three are still standing, the person who gives the order, I must realize, mischief maker, you love contention too much. Fast me coming and mash me and mash it up. You like the vision too much. Why you are carrying news to the woman husband? Why you are carrying news to the man wife? Come on, no. Somebody get here. Somebody are preaching. You know. Somebody help me, no man. Somebody help me, no man. Somebody don't help me, no man. Why are you carrying news to the boss? Come on. So, three charges were made against the three Hebrew boys. What was the charges? One, they said that we are charging you because you have showed disregard or disrespect for the king's authority. Two, they said the next charge is that they did not serve his gods. And the other charge was that they would not bow down to the image. One, they're not bowing. One, they're not serving. And two, they had, three, they have disregarded the king's authority. Can I tell you that the boys were guilty of two and not guilty of one? The boys were guilty of not bowing down to the image as everybody could see. The boys were guilty of not serving other gods. But they were not guilty of disregarding or disrespecting the king's authority. Because every time the king taught, they says, O king, live forever. That was the highest level of respect. They did not disregard or disrespect the king. But the orders and the instructions given were in contradiction 
to their biblical teachings and their godly guide. Amen. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to say this, you know, church, that we cannot afford to bow to systems and policies, laws and regulations that are contradictory to the word of God. Come on. We have to stand up for our biblical beliefs and doctrinal commitment and our declaration of faith. Amen. What the Bible teaches. Hallelujah. So let me say it here and then. That Bishop, if this country under the leadership of any prime minister, premier or president, or governor general, king or queen, decide that they are going to go into the place of parliament or senate or otherwise to deliberate and debate and pass any law that is not in keeping with the word of God. This I am not me, preacher from Manchester. Not going to be in agreement with it. I rather to stand up for what the Bible teaches hallelujah. than from what man tried to in. Come on, hallelujah. So if the def let me let me complain. If the definition and understanding for marriage according to the Bible changes, and they say pastors who are married officers must do it. Take back my license. Because I have to keep my God. I have to keep my sanity. Jesus Christ, some people not saying it because. The fees that are attached to it is quite attractive. Yes, come on. And the position, the elite, esteemed. to be called esteemed, yes. is a marriage officer. The island of Jamaica. <laughs> oh, Jesus. If they say man must marry to animal, and every pastor must be obedient as long as you have a marriage license, let me tell you something. Steve Anthony Elijah Joshua Melchizedek Hepburn. Not doing it. Some people afraid like puss. Come on, not somebody, but hmm? Reverend Leopold, you can't preach so because you have a steer man to go be. And if you preach this, you're not steer down here. So let me preach it. Somebody praise God. <laughs> Somebody praise God. My brothers and sisters, what I'm talking about is that we rather, as Christian community, hold the Bible. Come on, somebody. The teachings and, and, and commandments of the Bible. We rather to hold it than to violate it. Glory to God. Come on, somebody. And Hallelujah. be in trouble with God. I'd rather hey. to be in trouble with man than with God. Hallelujah. But it's a terrible thing to fall into the hands of God. Some people stop preaching with me right now. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Amen. Because they don't want to come up on the screen to say that they were here endorsing what Hepburn was saying. Come on. You don't have to endorse it. Let me say amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. The Sheldians. Were men who owed their lives to Daniel and his friends. Had Daniel not revealed the king's dream. And its meaning to Nebuchadnezzar. All of the wise men of the land would have been put to death. Now they show their gratitude. By pointing out the disobedience. Of the three Hebrews to the king. Somebody praise God. The Chaldeans as I go down to my next point. The Chaldeans. Opposition is not difficult to understand. Given that the goal or objectives of Nebuchadnezzar was to use foreigners as part of his administration. The Chaldeans were the natives of Babylon. 
Nebuchadnezzar himself was a Chaldean. Daniel and his three friends were outsiders, yet they had higher position in Nebuchadnezzar's administration than the Chaldeans. Am I talking to the church? Yes. And so the attack on the three Hebrews was an attack against the Jews. An attack upon the three Hebrews was an attack upon the, upon the church, was an attack upon God. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. These guys were mad and jealousy. Uh, mad with jealousy or hatred that developed in their heart for the brothers of Christ. Some people just jealous over us. Mad with us. Because of our position of relevance in Christ. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. None of us elevated ourselves to the position that we are in God. God elevated us. God saw it fit and saw our faithfulness and sacrifice that we have made. Oh God, are you still there church? And so he has placed us in a position of relevance. Lord God, somebody help me here. Somebody help me here. Look at your neighbor say, neighbor. Promotion. Favor. Recognition. Or special assignments can cause many to turn against us somebody praise the name of the lord hallelujah somebody praise the name of the lord hallelujah somebody praise the name of the lord hallelujah while the chaldeans did not devise a scheme to bring about the demise of the three Hebrews men. Oh, somebody praise God. They certainly took advantage of the situation. They apparently interrupted the ceremony. Reporting to Nebuchadnezzar. That these three Jews refused to bow down. They said Mr. King the men you accepted. The men you promoted here in Babylon. Are the ones who aren't honoring your decrees. When the king stopped the ceremony. Everyone must have looked on with great interest to see how he would handle the matter come on somebody and to see what he would do with these three Hebrew boys are you still there church church somebody said it was now a deadlock somebody praise God Hallelujah. somebody said it was now a deadlock is either do or die somebody praise God come with me musician come with me church look at your neighbor said do or die it's a deadlock but I may die in here somebody praise God somebody wave your hand and say I won't die here I won't die I won't die here. I hear them say, I see the furnace. I know the enemy's intent. I see hell's plots. I know hell's schemes. I see the setup. Somebody praise God. It is a deadlock. I see the heated furnace. Oh, scorch, it will scorch us to death. But the God that we serve is well able. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. There are some situations that have come at you over the past year or two years. You had to face it or run. And in this year, you don't know what the enemy is going to throw on your highway or throw in your path. You have to decide. Decide I'm going to face it or I'm going to run from it. Somebody praise God. I said the conditions that are attached to the present situations coming from hell. They are hot, hot, hot. They have become intensified. Lord God, pressure, pressure, pressure. Somebody praise God. Christ is there at its highest level or temperature. Somebody praise God. Lord God, somebody help me preach here. Somebody help me preach down here. Lord God, some conditions. I like Nebuchadnezzar's furnace. You go to bed with it. And the heat of the condition 
under your skin. Somebody praise God. You try to sleep, but you can't sleep. Somebody praise God. You turn on fun, but you can't get no cooling. You sit outside, but it's still hot. Condition, situation, hell's plots, hell's schemes, hell's devices. They are at you. They are at us. And everything we try is like we are not getting any way out. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Look at your neighbor. Say neighbor. Amidst what is happening, I am waiting on God. And I am waiting in God. For if God can't do it, it can't be done. And there's nothing that my God can't do. Somebody praise God. For with man, it is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. I feel I'm preaching. Somebody praise God. Somebody shout hallelujah. Say neighbor, man say can't happen. Man say you won't get out. Man say you won't be delivered. Man say you will still be shackled. But God is saying something else. I'm gonna grant you a release. I'm gonna grant you deliverance. I wonder where is the 24 hours prayer team from Moby. Who not gonna make demons kill me? Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Come on, warriors. This can't work. This can't work. The church. Ah, the church. Triumphant. Is alive. And well. Shout it. Yeah. Shout it. Yeah. Say neighbor. God is able. God is well able. The furnace is hot. Nebuchadnezzar is furious. But God is mightier. Mightier than the mightiest. Greater than the greatest. For he is Lord. Holy and righteous. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Somebody praise God. 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 Somebody say furnace. Say furnace. Say furnace. Say furnace. Say furnace. Marital furnace. Workplace furnace. Community furnace. Lord God Almighty. The devil is hot. The devil is determined. Hell is purposeful that they have to get you out. But on Christ, the solid rock I stand. All of the ground is sinking. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody shout yes. Shout yes. Shout yes. Shout yes. Shout yes. Say neighbor. I'm coming out of this. Say neighbor. I'm gonna get out of this. It's a hot one. It's a hot one. But God is gonna bring me out. Jesus. Hallelujah. Church, can I continue? I soon let you go now. The furnace symbolizes or represents death. Somebody said that. Somebody said that. Said that. Said that. Said that. Said that. Said that. Who ain't got you, you know? But I feel limited. Somebody praise God. Oh, I, I feel limited. Oh, I want to go through. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Somebody praise God. I want to go through, but I feel limited. I feel restricted. Somebody praise God. 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 Somebody praise God.
Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Ah, it's small. Hallelujah. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Somebody praise God. Don't put it. Don't put it. Hallelujah. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, God. What, what, what? God Almighty, some Holy Ghost people help me in this house. Hallelujah. Somebody, ah, God. Hallelujah. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Come on, man, dig up here. Come on, man, dig up here. Come on, man, dig up here. God is here, man. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah! Somebody praise God! Come on, fasting! Come on, fasting! Come on, fasting! Come on, Holy Ghost! Come on, Holy Ghost! Come on, Holy Ghost! Every graven image, every tall God, every monument, every structure, everything set up to glorify another God. We tear it down. We tear down every altar, every tower. Lord God, every stronghold, every territorial demon. We take it down. Lord, warriors, warriors, warriors. We take it down. Every altar, every furnace. We take it down. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh God. 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 Hallelujah. Oh Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh Jesus. Hallelujah. Send me one more time. One more time. One more time. Glory to name Jesus. The fire of God. The fire of God. The fire of God. The fire of God. Hallelujah. The fire of God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody praise God. 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 Hallelujah. Somebody praise your Hallelujah. And say no weapon. No weapon. Say no weapon. No weapon. That is formed against me. Shall prosper. On every tongue. 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 Every Shalian tongue. Every Babylonian tongue, every territorial tongue, every hell tongue, every abyss tongue that set you up for a furnace, that set you up to get rid of you. I come to tell you, you shall break free, you shall be released, you shall be delivered. Sustain it, 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 The spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he has anointed me to preach the gospel, to set at liberty them that are bound, those who are oppressed, to set captives free, and to preach the acceptable year of our Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. 
the furnace. Oh God, I love you, small. I love you. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. The furnace symbolizes death. Somebody say death. 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 A death sentence has been signed for you. A death order has been signed for you. But I declare revocation. I revoke the order. Lord God, fast him. Every order signed for death. I revoke it. I decree and declare. I decree and declare that I shall not die. Mighty God, Jesus. I preach me a preach. Somebody, a Holy Ghost, me a preacher. Somebody, praise God. Hallelujah. Send me about some high officials, some people in standing positions have ordered that you be thrown into furnace, which symbolizes death. Yes. Yes. Oh God. But look at your neighbor. Say under God. Under God. That can't work. Yeah, Sorry. Girl. That can't work. Yeah, God, God, some of you do no, stuff. Let me talk to some stuff. Some people in us are stuff. Don't you never say that can't work. Say can't work. Can't work. Can't you can't work. kill the anointed. Can't you can't kill God's no, chosen. God. You can't touch who God have appointed for who God hire. Can't work. Can't work. Can't work. No, it's Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Look at your name and say revocation. Revocation. So I revoke. Revoke. I, I reverse. Reverse. Every death order. Oh, Every death order. Sign for my son. Sign for your husband. Sign for your nephew. Yes. Death through accident. Death through gunshot. Death through drowning. Death through sudden death. But every form of sudden death that is being ordered by hell against you, against your family, against your pastor, against your pastor wife, against Pastor Pitney, the Holy Ghost Army, stand in unison and we declare revocation, we declare reversal. Somebody praise God, somebody praise God, say God is able. The furnace symbolizes doom. Say doom. doom. Your doom. If some people get to tie you and trap you and wrap you up. What kind of our, our kind oh, of, Jesus. Jesus. Our kind of nice and nice congregation this one. Mm. I said some people get to wrap you up. Jesus. Tie you up and put you in a corner. My grandmother would have said, dog, eat your supper. Come on, now somebody help me here. But the enemy cannot touch. Who oh, God has chosen. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to yes, God. Jesus. Somebody say do. Do. Mm. The furnace also symbolizes destruction, which is also doom. Doom and destruction. With all that, it indicates or has an idea of God. God is far more able to counteract, reduce, and eliminate furnaces of whatever degree size, make, or type that is set up against you. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, don't be afraid, alarmed, or otherwise about the furnaces that the enemy have set up for you. God is able to deliver you. Let's look at the boy's faith. If there's a furnace, there must be a faith. 
Come on, somebody. Verse 16, 17, 21, 22, 23 talks about the boy's faith. Let us there, boys, imagine the enormous pressure that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were under just to compromise. Everything in front of them. The king was in front of them. His furnace, his fist, his fury, the playing of his music, his fellow countrymen, their competitors, all possibly conspired to convince them to compromise. Don't allow anybody to talk you into compromising your godly position for worldly pleasures. Worldly pleasures are but temporary. The pleasures of God are but forever. Yet God was more real to them than any of those things that were offered. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. Do not judge the situation by the king's threat and by the heat of the burning fire furnace but by the everlasting God and the eternal life which awaits us Hallelujah. because if you start to look at the king's threat the furnace and its heat you will lose focus stay focused the boy stayed focused and they kept a faith that was unwavering. Faith in God always has a cost attached to it. Opposition is inevitable if you stand up for what you believe. If you stand up for what you believe, you will face opposition. As Paul wrote to young Timothy in the New Testament, he said, everyone who lives a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. Second Timothy chapter 3, 12. And so, before any other person or persons walk out on me, let me bring it home. Don't allow flute, harp, and trombone to fascinate you. Don't allow flute, harp, and trombones and trumpets to tickle your fancy. We must know God's sound and every sound we dance to. Hallelujah. Come and on. every beat we rock to. Hallelujah. Church of God, people must have spiritual ears. Amen. Lord Wisdom, God. knowledge, and understanding. Because some of us are rocking and dancing and bowing, reverend. To some hell sounds and music, and it is causing chaos in the body of Christ. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Ah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Charles Spurgeon says, When you refuse to bow at men's trombone, trumpet, sounds and music and and, and, and fantasies. Men will, the men will frown at you but you can see God smiling on you and so you are able to move on come on somebody are you still there saints of God it was the apostle Paul in speaking to the elders from Ephesus as he closed his missionary, missionary journey he says hear me I go bound in the spirit not quite aware of all uh, aware of the things that shall befall me there Save the Holy Ghost saying that bonds and afflictions await me. Jesus. However, however, that word however changed the whole thing. But none of these things. For I am persuaded. Somebody praise God. The boy's faith. They had no need to defend themselves. Their guilt in the matter was clear. They clearly would not bow down to this image. A decisive stance or action they took. Come on somebody. Our God whom we serve, they says, is able to deliver us. That's faith in God, you know. I said that's faith in God. Come on, so are you still there prayer warriors? Yes. 
When you say the God that we oh, serve God. is able to deliver, you are Amen. demonstrating a faith, a radical faith. You don't see the way out, but you believe that there's a way out. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. In this, the boy showed a good understanding and appreciation of God's great power. In fact, they knew that God was able to save them from both Nebuchadnezzar's furnace and from his hand. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. I'm not certain if you're aware, but I know that my God, my God. is able to save me from the hand of my attacker. Oh God Almighty, be it known to you, my friends, that faith in God can see you and I be victors over our furnace, over our conditions, over life situations, and over the hand of the enemy. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. As I head on to my third and final point, the boys of the the boys of faith says. But if not, come on now, somebody. The boy said, just in case he doesn't come through. Come on now, somebody. Ah, oh, feel the Holy Ghost. But if not, come on. whether or not, we still will not bow. Oh God, you don't like this kind of preaching. I like the preaching. I like the word. Come on, somebody. Can I dive into the text? Can I dive into the word? In this, the Jewish men show they had a good understanding and appreciation of what it is to be in full submission to God. He said, there's one thing, you know, to study and repeat a lot of decree and declares and some phrases that sounds high and it brings about floating and shouting and emotions flaring. But it's another thing that when you're done repeating those stuff, you sit down in the word of God. The boys knew God's power, Reverend Francis. Look at your neighbor, say the boys knew God's power. But they also knew that they must do what was right, even if God did not do what they expect. You know, you hear me, man? Can I go into the text? We love it, you know, man. The boys say we have to do what is right. Whether or not God do what we expect him to do. Our oh, part is Jesus. to do what is right. Yes. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You see, our expectations may not be met. But as long as God's will or plan for my life is fulfilled, that's fine. Come on, somebody help me in this house. Hallelujah. I say our expectations and our plans may be disrupted. Oh, like what Jesus. Solomon says, many are the plans that a man has. But the Lord can disrupt or interrupt them at any time. Oh, Jesus. And so we can have fine plans and desires and expectations for 2023. But guess what? If they don't come to a fulfillment, as long as God's plan come to a fruition Amen. and come to pass in my life, that's fine. Amen. Mm. Hallelujah. Oh, you don't hear me talk to you down here, somebody. Amen. Jesus. It is better to make a stand and endure our difficulty, leaving our faith in God's hand. Songwriter said, yes, take your burdens. Take it to the Lord. I say something else on faith, the boy's faith and move. The boy's faith did not doubt. They did not doubt God's ability. Look at your neighbor and say, never doubt God's ability. But neither did they presume to know God's will. In this they agreed with Job, though he slay me. Yet, yet I will trust him anyway. Oh, they recognized Jesus. that God's plan might be different than their desires. Somebody praise God. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. Hallelujah. A numerous of times and a number of time or occasions, God's plan for our life is far different from our desires. I will 
Sometimes we desire to go left. But God says it is right. Because danger is at the left. But at the right, it is more safer. I will trust you, Lord. The reason why some people choose some directions or path is because at the very opening or entrance to that path, it looked bright, glowing, looked like what they want. Because sometimes the other path looked dark, dismal, hurdles and all kind of debris. But God is showing it and saying, listen man, when you've been through the rocks and the mountains, and you hold and have your faith and remain strong, you can come out as pure gold. Hallelujah. Look at the neighbor say, I have my own desires. I have my, I have my dreams. I have my dream. But I pray that God fulfills his plan in my life. And I pray that God fulfills his plan in my life. Boy's faith. The boy says, even if God doesn't deliver, we will not bow. God does not always deliver us from the fire. He sometimes has a purpose for allowing us to go into the fire. What a sermon to your heart today. Hallelujah. There are some people who say, boy, where is God? He knows of the fire. He knows of Nebuchadnezzar's plan. But he has another plan. God could have allowed the boy, those who are uh, um, tied or bound or binded the boys and tossed them in the fire. He could have allowed them not to be able to touch the boys. He could have prevented them from touching the boys. But God had a plan was to deliver them in the fire. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. Don't worry about the furnace that you're in. Don't worry about the condition that you have been in. God knew before you went into it. God knew before you got into it. But he bring you there for to prove to you that he is God. He could have delivered you before you entered into it. But God is going to deliver you in your condition. Yeah. Somebody showed something in Christendom. Hallelujah. Watch this. So we see the Nebuchadnezzar's furnace. We see the boy's faith. And then we come to the fourth man. The faith, the, fire, the furnace and the fire. The faith of the boys. But here we are. Looking at the fourth man. And the fourth man looks like the son of God. And the fourth man is the deliverer. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Somebody praise God in this spot today. Glory to God. The king had raised the issue. Hear what the king says. Who was able to deliver these three? These three. They responded that they need not give Nebuchadnezzar any answer because he was not their deliverer. God Almighty had done. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor, you are not obligated to answer to no Jamaican Nebuchadnezzar. Jesus Christ, somebody help me here. You are not obligated to answer to any, come on now somebody, earthly dictators of evil. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor. Hallelujah. We are not willing to answer or respond to any evil dictators. Shakoria. Laboke Samanda. Libo Sekaria. Shaboria Katalia. I feel the Holy Ghost. Oh, it's your name, Jesus. I feel the Holy Ghost, Bishop. Hallelujah. Ibo Kosatoria. La Boko Shatoria. Limai Kasonia Katoria. Limondos Kretoria. Oh, God, I feel the Holy Ghost down here. Somebody shout something. Hallelujah. Oh, God, I feel the Holy Ghost, Sir Francis. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. The boys 
says we need not defend ourselves in this matter I hear the boy says that Nebuchadnezzar you cannot deliver you are not our deliverer come on somebody and therefore we will not bow to your golden image God was their deliverer somebody praise God he had proven so at the exodus come on somebody and afterward he commanded his people yes. not to bow to any image God. he proved to the Israelites that I am your deliverer and when he delivered them he said listen do not bow to any golden or carved out image come on somebody are you there I bring it home Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego knew that the God who delivered them from the Egyptian bondage had forbid his people to worship idols not to worship any idols because he is their deliverer yeah. not only from the blazing furnace but also from Babylonian captivity are you still there church yeah. they did not have to make any defense to the king when they were asked to explain their refusal to bow to the golden image for thus the Lord Jeremiah 29 10 to 11 for thus says the Lord after 70 years are completed at Babylon Jesus Christ I feel the Holy Ghost I will visit you Shibo Sakoria Labaka Satoria you don't hear the word of thus said Almighty God sister Ruth Ibeke Satoria after 70 years have been completed at Babylon God said I will visit you and perform my good work toward you and cause you to return to this place he says for I know the plans the thoughts I think toward you says the Lord thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future and a hope can I tell the congregation, Bishop Robinson, that your years at Babylon has come to an end. Oh God. Hallelujah. Oh Babylon God. symbolizes captivity. Shekoria. On this final day, God would have to give me a word for this fasting. Jeremiah 29, 10. After 70 years, you can put your years perhaps it's not 70 years for you perhaps it's just a few months perhaps it's 70 years perhaps it's six months perhaps it's five days but whatever period of time you have been in captivity God says that today this week this year is the end of your Babylon this is the end of your captivity he said i will visit you and i will perform i will show good for my good word toward you and i will cause you to return to this place for my thoughts towards you thoughts of peace not of evil and i give you a future and a hope the fourth man this musicians and God accomplished their deliverance God did not only deliver them from the fire he delivered them through the fire somebody praise God today if you sit down and take a little bit of it you know come on somebody help me here you can't be shouting and then you miss the most important things watch this God did not deliver them from the fire he delivered them through the fire. Hallelujah. Come on, so are you still there, somebody? Yes. Nebuchadnezzar played his music one more time. And he said, after this, anyone or those who refuse to bow, furnace, 
that was done and again the boys of faith were still standing saying we are not afraid of the furnace we are awaiting the fourth man somebody praise God somebody praise God look at your neighbor say neighbor I haven't bowed and I will not bow sir Malcolm come on now somebody though my furnace is in front of me I rather do it on the fourth man for the fourth man is in charge of the fire the fourth man is a consuming fire somebody praise God somebody praise God somebody praise God somebody praise God some people can't understand why you're still standing some people can't understand why you're still here come down here come down here to me come down here Chateau. some people can't understand why you have fallen already some people can't understand why you say so uh, determined Shako the furnace is what you are not afraid of you do not fear your furnace you fear the fourth man somebody praise God somebody praise God look at your neighbor say neighbor a furnace not a man make that a man block that Come the man, come the man. Yes. I don't need don't know it. I don't I'm yes. finishing. I'm finishing. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise yes. God. Yes. Somebody praise God. Hello. Bishop Ruel, Bishop Ruel. Oko Shato. Bishop Francis. Rabakosa. Bishop Neville Ako Daya Sata. Bishop Malcolm. Somebody praise God. Shaka Tanabahanda Rako Sata Nabahaya. Labakosa. Look at your neighbor say, a man made that. A man set up that. A man strategize that. Oh, yes, is man orchestrate that? Hey. Is man formulate that? Hi, hi, hi. My faith is bigger than that. My faith is stronger than that. Hallelujah. My faith tells me that God is able. My faith tells me Hallelujah. that I shall come forth. As pure gold. Somebody online. Somebody online. It says that the miners of gold, when they find the substance, somebody praise God. Hallelujah. They have to carry it through the fire. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. And when the fire is through and the process is complete, then you have cool. Yes. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Say neighbor, be surprised to see you because they say you should have been dead. La Baba. Pocosata, Linkitoria, Sadula Mandekesa. I want to go church this. Oh, yeah. I tell you, I'm church this. Hallelujah. Woman, Glory sister, you're coming out. I don't know your furnace. I don't know your Nebuchadnezzar. I don't know your afflictor. Are you dictator? Are you attacker? But today, your faith shall make you whole. Hallelujah. 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 Francis. Be holy ghost, Francis. Hallelujah. Look at your name and say, Hallelujah. Your faith. Your faith. Your faith. Your faith. Your faith. My faith. My faith. Shall make me whole. Shall make me whole. I shall come forth. I shall come forth. As pure coal. As pure coal. Hallelujah. I land me, I land you. Somebody help him land. Hallelujah. Somebody help him land. Hallelujah. Somebody help him land. Hallelujah. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. 
somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Say neighbor. Neighbor. There are some furnaces that have been lit up against my progress, against my advancement. But my faith says stand. My faith says don't run. Oh, it's come musician. Come with me. The piece of land that you have just acquired, hell is so mad that it has lit up a furnace to kill you. Hallelujah! Hold on, 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 hold on. Somebody praise God, somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, God. Hallelujah. Keep it up there, keep it up there, keep it up there. Hallelujah. Somebody get ready, somebody get ready. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In my wrapping up. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. I say my wrapping up. Hallelujah. Then you can as I give the order. He said, bind them. He said, tie them up. He said, rub them up. He said, cheer them up. But little bit in there, you can as I know that you can't rub up the church. You can't cheer up the church. Come on, hallelujah. Jesus Christ, what it was. You can't shackle the church. Come on, hallelujah. Oh Lord. Somebody show glory. glory. Somebody show glory. glory. Somebody show glory. glory. Raise your hand and say, neighbor. neighbor. They may try, but they won't succeed. They may try. Grim through. Come on, church. Come on, church. Come on, church. Come on, church. Yes. You see, there are some men, there are some followers who they just have come around. And if they had only know what you know, what the church of God people know, they would have never touched you. Oh my God. Mal coming now, you matter. We're gonna preach it, my boy. Somebody praise God. I said, if some people have ever known oh, the God that you serve, they would have never touched you. Oh, hallelujah. Why never you like Kanesa? Never come over and bind the boys themselves. Because he know that fire going to take him, kid. Somebody praise God. You have to be careful how you allow people to send you for your debt. Because the moment you touch the church, you touch your coffin. The moment you touch the church, you touch God. Somebody help me in a man to go be. If you touch the church, you touch God. If you touch Pastor Hepburn, you touch the Holy Ghost. Bishop Robinson, it's not touch some people. Jesus. And hell. Hell. Jesus. Oh, what is this? What is this? What is this? Hi, 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 hi. Somebody shout, darling. Hallelujah. Lord God, what is this? What? Lord God, somebody here. Somebody, somebody shout, hallelujah. Somebody shout, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bishop Robinson, it's not touch some people. No one touch you. But every time they draw near, come on, no, somebody. All they are seeing is an edge. An edge. An age. Hear the devil to Jew. Hear the devil to God. God. I know touch me can't touch Jew. But the edge. The hedge are giving me trouble. He said, move the edge. God said, move right as a boy. Go on side. Come on, somebody. You mad? Be touch my child servant. 
to touch my job. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, God will not give the enemy any permission or access to touch whom he has chosen and appointed. He rather to keep the bloody hedge intact. Hallelujah. Touch me, I touch down. No. So the boys who they shackled the chain and thought that they have the victory. Somebody praise God. Let me this young man. Let me. the boys they shackle them bound them dragging them up on the dictates and orders of Nebuchadnezzar for to throw them into the furnace come on now son come here you, you look like one of the strong men with Nebuchadnezzar because Nebuchadnezzar look for somebody who perhaps is strong so Mr. Big Man come over come pull them and draw them and he threw them into the furnace. Come on, now, somebody. Toss them, but when you look, go up in the furnace. Go up in the furnace. Go up. Go up in there. Stand up. But the one are the men who tossed them in the furnace. When they were looking, go down. Go down. Jump, man. Jump dead. You can't kneel down on them. Jump, Kirk. Jump. Because you're in Ito. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody drop to fire your night. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. So when Nebuchadnezzar look, his men were flat. His men were switched back. But those whom he intend to be dead were still alive. They were in the furnace. Worshiping. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Go up in the furnace. Go up somewhere in there. Go up in there. When they look, the three boys were worshiping. When Nebuchadnezzar looked, Jesus Christ. Go up in there. Go up in there. He said, But wait. But wait, but wait. Go in the middle. When Nebuchadnezzar looked, he said, but wait. Then we cast three men, three men, three men, three men into the furnace fire. But look here, man. I see a fourth one. I see a fourth oh, one. Jesus. The fourth one look like the son of man. He said, come forth. He said, bring them out. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor. I said, no ramp with God. No ramp with God, people. God will burn you up. God will mash you up. Yes. I close. God is well able because he showed up in the furnace. And all he said, I believe, all he said to the boys, don't worry, I've got you. Don't worry, I've got you. 
Somebody praise God. Look at your neighbor say, when God say, I've got you, I've got you. Somebody praise God. The captives were delivered. And the blessings was released. What was the blessing? What was the blessing? Look what the text says. Nebuchadnezzar called them out. And said, listen. I don't want another God. To be worshipped in Babylon. Except the God of the three Hebrew boys. The boys were promoted again. The boys were recognized again. The boys were elevated. Look at your neighbor. Say neighbor. Your promotion comes after the furnace. Just go through your furnace. If your faith fails not. You shall see the blessings be released upon you. My closing statements. The fourth man says to the fire. Because you see the fourth man did not only talk to the boys. But the fourth man spoke to the fire. He said he crossed the battlements of heaven. Came down the starry staircase of glory. Enter into the furnace. And he said to the fire. Cool it. Cool it. Right now you're going home to see a furnace that was lit up against you. Cool. Don't ask how and by what means. The God who is well able has entered therein and has cooled it. The boys came out unharmed and unhurt. You're coming out of your furnace unhurt and unharmed because the fourth man the son of Jesus Christ shows up to bring you out your faith can bring you out of your furnace your faith can allow the fourth man to grant you a deliverance somebody shout something down here Hallelujah. somebody shout something down here Hallelujah. Somebody shout something down here. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. The fourth man is the son of man. Is the son of God. Can I tell somebody you can come forth today? It was not only in St. John chapter 11 that Jesus says come forth. But right there in this text, you see also where he had to say come forth Nebuchadnezzar and his team had to say to the boys come forth come out of the furnace come out of it I thought it, it would have killed you but your faith has proven otherwise faith in God can prove otherwise faith in God can disappoint your enemies your haters and your distractors just keep on keeping on. Though the furnace and the battle may be hot, press on in faith. The fourth man who is a son of God is going to show up and bring you out unhurt and unharmed. And your attacker shall lay flat if they do not let up. Amen. 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 God is well able. God is well able. Say neighbor, God is well able. I know Bishop Robinson is a man who whatever he desires or he wants, he's going to ask. And even when I try to hide away from some things, there are some things that when he asks, can't help but but what? Responding. Today there's a furnace, a financial furnace, a family furnace, 
a fighting furnace. Lord God Almighty, fighting against your health and your advancement and everything you try, all you're seeing and just experiencing is just furnace, opposition, doom, destruction, death, disaster and all kind of stuff. Your faith, your faith can do something about that. Your faith can counteract that. Where am I now, Pastor? How many of you have faith in God today? How many of you have faith? Faith in God can do the impossible. Yeah. You see, that's my jacket. You have faith? I'm asking, do you have faith? Do you have faith? Hear me. It's time to sow a seed of faith. As I came out the van, I checked my pocket and I had limited cash in it. But then the Holy Spirit just said, let the people as many as it is possible and have that faith and believe join you in sowing the seed of a two thousand dollars if your faith tells you more go ahead if what you have is not oh ah uh, it's not amounting to two thousand dollars then it's what your faith tells you I want some people with faith. It can be more than the two. It can be five. It can be ten. But a couple of years now, thank you, sister. See, you put down 5,000. Kataba Sataya. Libaka Sataya. Kuta. Landa Baka Satoria. Limba Baka Satoria Bahaya. No, man, no, man. No touch it. No touch it, elder. Holy Ghost, something is not touch it. Touch it yet, not touch it yet. Work with the Holy Ghost. I have never sown on a fertile seed, a seed of faith, and be disappointed. Come on, somebody. Never, never, let the church say never, let the church say never. Never. A soil instead, God showed up. When God gives me a figure, you know, when God tells me something, and the people comply, you know, there's great returns. Respond in faith. Come with it. Release the land. Come on, lamp. Land agency. You have the title too long. Somebody praise God. The diagram is with that agency and department too long. Release. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Housing trust. Hallelujah. Have been processing that application. Too long. Release. Hallelujah. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. The liar has the documents. Too long. Hallelujah. Release. Come on, come in true now. Come in true. Come in true. Immigration. Hallelujah. Have your file. Too long. Come, 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 come. Hallelujah. Oh God, somebody help me here. Somebody help me here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So many years. 
Hallelujah. Consistently, you have to be paying debts. Hallelujah. So your money come in. I saw it go. Out. This Hallelujah. is the year of the beginning of debt free. In this year, all your debts, loans, and balances can be settled. Your daughter, your son, should have traveled a long time. God Almighty, I feel Holy Ghost, you know, man. Ah. But the filing, the filing, the filing. God, stop sitting down and look at your neighbor. Get something and come. Come here, you, you, come here, touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it. It's going to work. The Holy Ghost says, I see, I see you walk up there, you just shake your head, the Holy Ghost says, she's wondering when, how it's going to, but it's going to work. 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 Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Yes, yes, oh God. It's gonna work, sister. It's gonna work. God is gonna allow it to work. Last year when I came here, Bishop Robinson, I sowed a seed of faith in this fasting because I had some desires. When I saw it, I said, God, the vehicle that I have, it looks good. Yeah, it feels good, but I have it for quite a number of years. And it is really going up and I don't want it to become another wife because I only want to have one wife. You know, after V, <laughs> pray for me, Bishop. Are you trained me now? It's Bishop. Anything I do is Bishop Robbins so responsible for it. He trains. So I say, I don't want this vehicle to become another wife on me because once the vehicle gets old, start but now you have to start to do some things and you spend more time with it and you have to be doing a lot of stuff. So I sowed a seed January. I said, God, 2022 must not finish. And I still have this vehicle because ministry requires something that is effective and reliable. And I am purposeful in carrying out your work. And when I saw September coming and October, I said, God, what is this on me now? Seems like you're not, you haven't heard my prayer. You haven't seen my seed of faith. And I was talking to someone and they told me, they said, you know, I am doing X and I'm doing Y and Toyota Jamaica X, Y, Z and whatever. And they gave me the contact and I made the link and they said, yes, man, we have something that can, that, that can fit you and it looks like you. They don't know me. I call me Carl. So I don't know how they know what suit me, fit me and look like me. And then they told me what is required and I went to the bank. Discuss it with my wife, went to the bank, talked to the bank, the bank did some stuff. 
And then they called, they said, you'll soon hear from us. I say, I am only checking out, you know, sir. If anything can work. I don't know how things are going to work out regarding payments and where the money coming from. But I just find out, how, trying to find out how things will work. And so, about a week passed. Then I saw a number calling. It was Bank of Nova Scotia, BNS. The person said, could you come and see us at the bank, please? I said, Father, what is this now? When I went over, the loans officer took me in his office and put a document before me and said, sign at the bottom. I says, what? I says, what? He says, this is the LU agreement. So what does that mean? He said, this is the, this is the undertaking that we are willing to undertake the cost of the vehicle 100%. I said, but oh, you want me to sign and I don't know the percentage, the interest rate. He said, guess what? When I talked to the manager, the manager said, who is the pastor man you're talking? He said, all right, give him, give him I think it was 6.7% per annum. 6 point, I believe, 7 or 8% per annum. Per annum. Fever. When you trust God, God work things out for you. When I called, when the lady called me from Toyota, Jamaica and says, guess what? The vehicles due to the war and all of that vehicles not coming in, but we have a vehicle. We have one right here. Because normally you have to come in, identify with one you want, and then they send to wherever and they do the, and, and you have to wait until it is shipped and cleared. He said, we have one. He took the, she took the picture and sent it. And she said, this one looks like you. I said, but you don't know me, sister. When she sent it and the cost of the vehicle and all of that. And then the next thing she sent back, she said, this is whatever is needed. Do you have an insurance company that you can get the, the insurance? But I said, but Father, allow them reach insurance and all of these things. I said, get the insurance because we're going to license it for you and fit it up. God Almighty, somebody praise the name of the Lord. All of that was done. And the only time I met the agent at Toyota, Jamaica, was when I went to pick up the vehicle. Come on, somebody. When you trust God, come on, somebody. And when I pull out the seatbelt and look at the look at the seatbelt because that's that's what you look at, you know, to know the year of the vehicle. I mean, so let me verify for this can be true. When I pull it out and draw, I mean, see two zero two three. I mean, say God, you bless your servant. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. When you saw my feet, and you trust God. And tell God what you want and you remain faithful and true to him. He's going to open doors for you. The payback is manageable. And I am not living below my expectations. And I am not living above my means. Because since we get it October, about two times we go to a hotel already. Because normally when you go buy a vehicle out of your means, you have to turn for chicken. And you have to turn for tinas. Not you. Yeah? Come on, now, talk to me, no man. When you go above your means and you don't trust God, Reverend Kirk, oh, talk to me, no man. So no envy me. Oh, Jesus. God has blessed me. Woo. And God won't do it. So as you look at me now, I don't live worse for a new tie, new shirt, and new shoes, and new socks, my man. Woo! I only the suit, no new. God, I bless you. Come on, no someone. When you live faithful, I may soon get one next new suit, too. Oh, Jesus. And that is the God that I serve. We pray to God. We say, God, you have to open doors and opportunities for me and my family. Now you hear me say, and God is not true with me yet. 
Because if somebody know where you come from and the furnace that was set for you, that you should have been dead. Woo. Now you what to say? It's just a month and a half I came back from Fresh Oil Ministries, Bishop Notice. And Saturday morning, me gone again at Fort Lauderdale. When God has blessed you, man, you must talk about the blessings of God. Somebody praise the name of the Lord when God opened doors for you. Oh. And you remain faithful. You don't have to rush nothing. Wait and the Lord be of good courage. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Bishop Robinson not going to talk. He's a quiet man. man. The only time he talks loud is when he preaches. He doesn't talk much. Quite observant. But he knows where I'm coming from. He knows the amount of seed that they have sown. So the seed that I sowed in Montego Bay opened up doors. And blessed me with a new vehicle. And, and the seed that I sowed was for two purposes. Because I had my house. Take it a little bit lower, my goodly musicians. You're doing excellent. And I said, listen, my man, my daughter and my son. They might grow up. I can't keep the two of them in the same room. So I have the upstairs. I put on the roof from the same year when COVID come and I couldn't do nothing more. For me jam, stuck. I said, God, you have to do something now. Something have to be done. I said, God, I want to go further with it. So you have to send favor, support, help. Come on, let the church say help. So I sowed the seed in January and all when April come, I still not start rough cars upstairs yet. Just the roof. And by the time me, Lord God, the second Monday, I call in a trade man say, come start for rough cars. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. And from the workman start me. You know, stop until the couple of days before Grand Market. You just a work. You just a work. Come on, now somebody. And this is how God worked it out. It has a couple windows, double digits, the windows upstairs in double digits. That means, you know, say I know eight, nine, nine. Can be 10 and over. Don't ask me how much. If I tell you how much you're going to start, check out how much apartment me have. So it's double digits, really. <laughs> when it right, reached to the window, somebody called me and said, Rev, the Lord put it in my spirit. How much window in your house? I told him, he said, how much the material cost? I told him, he said, I am responsible. The material cost $300,000. And the person undertake the responsibility. All I responsible for was the labor. When God opened doors for you, somebody, no devil in hell can stop you when you have faith in God. Some people don't want to talk about their testimony. Who want bad mind and grudge you after you testify for your business? And God bless me. I am not responsible for my blessing. It's God send it on me. I see somebody come back. I want if somebody want to push again. I want if somebody. Lord God Almighty. The house must go through. Touch me now, sister. I know ordinary touch this. Look out. Kataya Bahanda. Sick Kataya. I transfer a blessing upon you and your household. In the name of Jesus Christ. Double portion. Release. Echo Shata Bahaya. Somebody say international favor. Say international favor. So if you don't decide, why you talk all of this, Pastor? It's because some people, some persons may be doubting the legitimacy and the truthfulness of what we are doing here. Well, I am a recipient. I am a product of God's blessing. And somebody is sitting in this audience. Somebody online. Lord God, reach out right now with your seed of faith.
Your husband going to get back the vehicle. Don't worry yourself. The vehicle coming back. Yes, sister, get ready for it. Is there somebody else? Is there somebody else? This is a sacrifice. Because when July comes, August comes, God Almighty, the transcript must be released. Oh God, there must be no outstanding, uh, thank you, Elder, uh, back money that prevent the release of the results so your daughter or your son can move on. Somebody praise God. Somebody pray. Hallelujah. I hear the Holy Ghost says, so for a credit rating of three. Jesus Christ, somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. So for the rating, you know, once you get three in college, come on, your rating is three, you're the far. Right now, in the name of God, Bishop, come on, somebody. Your children will not come out with no 2.3 and 2.5. Come on, no, somebody. A three, we say. Somebody say three. Somebody say three. Jesus Christ, in the name of God. You cannot preach and fast and pray over people. Come on, somebody. Hold your hand at me. Let it go by you. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. You are my friend. Somebody praise Almighty God. I declare it upon Oriel and Olivia in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say release the blessing. The Upon the two children, look out, man. You know, hear me say, look out, brother, look out, man. God Almighty, favor. Your faith can bring them out. Your faith can bring them out. Remember, James says, you know, the prayer of faith shall save the sick. And the sick have faith, and the person praying have faith. Double faith. You, yes, your faithfulness, Thank you, hallelujah, Thank you, Jesus. shall bring even your children out yes. on top. Thank you. Come on, somebody. I say, your children coming out on top. Yes, yes. Come on, somebody. Don't worry yourself. Your children will be read about too. They will make the hit line, the headline. Come on, somebody. New York Times and Connecticut Times and overseas times and national times. Somebody praise God, Jesus Christ, somebody. Let me prophesy to the man of God, no man. Somebody praise God, somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. The blessings of God shall reach your household to your very children, Olivia and Aria. Glory to God. Wherever they are at this time, we release and double upon them. Glory to God. Whatever they do, they will not lack. Or they will not be lacking in anything. They will not be held back. Come on, somebody help me in this house. Help me in this house. They will not be held back. They will not be lacking. But you will open a door and grant them divine favor. For God is well able. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm getting ready to bless this offering. Oh, somebody's still coming. Labako Shatoria. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are some people who are afraid to testify. Because as soon as they testify, somebody run back to tell their family or to tell people and say they must show off. All right. Yes. She swore already, but she has so five thousand more for she need that chuck for do her business. And so, in the name of God, if a five million for the chuck come, and if a fifteen million we call it forth, and if a seven million we call it forth, and if a two point five million we call it forth, wherever it should come from, upon the authority of your faith and your word.
Is there somebody else? Is there somebody else? We don't want to leave anybody out. Glory to God. International favor. Caribbean favor. Support your kataya. Labokitai. Somebody shout hallelujah. It is no sanctified church money. It will only be used for wise purposes and godly use. Unscrupulous hands shall wither. God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Liars, tricksters, and deceivers for help. When it's not legitimate, shall surely suffer the consequence thereof. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you for today. Thank you for the spoken word. Thank you, God, that you still set captives free. You still break bondages and barriers. Lord, we thank you today that you are still well able. You are able to do the impossible. Lord God, there was a furnace before the Hebrew boys. But they had a faith in you. That, oh God, you, the fourth man, would show up. Thank you, God. You did show up. And so the heat of the furnace did not hurt them. You brought them out alive and well. Jesus, you can bring persons out alive today. The situations that they are going through, I pray God that it will not hurt or kill them. It will not suppress them or put them further. Oh God, down, way down, but it will bring them out. Take full control, God. This is the seed fit. Lord Jesus. Some people don't have it, God. But they make this sacrifice today. Because they need an answer. They need a breakthrough. They need a deliverance. Sovereign God. Hallelujah. Mighty creator. Ruler of heaven and earth. Provider. Oh yes. Problem solver, triune God, El Shaddai, come to the help of somebody right now. Come to somebody's aid. Come to somebody's assistance. Jehovah God, Daddy God, break the curse, break the spell. Shatamandoria Kataya, Holy Ghost. Release God. Land and titles and diagrams must be released. Results of oh God must be released. Unfinished structures, houses and business must come to a completion. Motor vehicles and transport needed. I pray God for your blessings. I pray God for you to show up. Sick bodies will be healed. Debts loans and balances will be settled God God international favor let an email a whatsapp message or a letter or a phone call reach somebody today of a deliverance of a breakthrough of a healing let somebody hear the message of deliverance and the message of hope oh God for them and their family through a tiktok or a snap message Jesus Christ hallelujah in the name of Jesus come true come true release cars truck house properties those who sue for their son's salvation and their husband's deliverance let it come to a fruition. Show up God. Show up God. For schooling and employment. Show up. For all other needs and desires. Of your people. Let there be a release from glory. According to your plan and order. Thank you for hearing. Thank you for delivering. Thank you for setting the captives free. And releasing the blessings 
upon this audience. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, God. I have sown myself. Pastors have sown, members have sown. Persons online have given. Give back good measures. Press down, shaken together, and running over. Take over, we pray. We give you glory. We give you honor. And we tell you thanks. Somebody begin to shout. Somebody begin to shout. Somebody begin to shout. Come on, come on. I said begin to shout right now. Begin to shout right now. Somebody shout. There are some persons who are held captive, captive by the devil. Held in sin. You can't find your way out. Here's the altar today. How could I go without praying for somebody who don't know Jesus? You don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And you're in this meeting. Run, come down here quickly. Let me pray a word of prayer over you. Let me pray over you. Come on, somebody. Come on. He's a chain breaker. You know it? I don't know it. Sing that song for me. Um, yes, thank you for coming, sisters. Yes, somebody else. Yes, I see you coming, brother. Mm -hmm. Give him a minute. Oh, Jesus. Yes, I see you coming, brother. I see you coming, brother. Salvation is in this house, Bishop. You can't take this away from an evangelist. Souls are our passion. Come on, somebody. Is there somebody else in this meeting? He's a pain taker. If you've been lost, he maker. If you need freedom, he's a prison savior. You've got pain. He's a chain breaker. If you've got pain. Is there somebody you else? Lost, he's, he's a, a way maker. Yeah. If you need freedom or saving, he's a prison changing he's savior. He was true. He's a chain breaker. Is there somebody else? You're another He's sister. Is there another young lady? If you feel lost, hey. He's a way maker. Mm. If you need freedom or saving, He's a prison. You couldn't escape this today. If you got chains, He's a chain breaker. If you got pain. If you got pain, he's, he's a, a pain taker. If you feel lost, he's a way maker. If you need freedom or saving, he's a prison shaking savior. He's a chain. He's a chain breaker. If you got pain. If you feel lost, he's a way maker. If you need freedom or saving, he's a prison shaking savior. If you got chains, he's a way breaker. One more time. If you've got pain. 
Is there one more? He's a pain taker. Yes. If you feel alone. Hey. He's, he's a way maker. If you need freedom or saving. He's a prison shaking savior. If you find change. He's, he's a, a chain breaker. Is there one more person in this meeting that you want to trust God? You want to put your life in the master's hand? Come now. All five of you that are at the altar, the Holy Ghost has dropped another chorus a few words of a song into my spirit to tell you. So when your head in by your thread, still, still you can climb the last mountain. Though, Though the cliffs are rough and dry, you can go.
bow your heads. Father, we give you thanks for today. Thank you for the spoken word. Thank you for the initiative of Bishop Robinson and the team. And, oh God, and the, th and, and, and the team that came together to plan this five days of deliverance fasting. Heaven responds to the call of the faithful people. You're attentive to the cries of your people. And we have been crying out to you from Sunday. And today we're still crying out to you. Rescue the perishing. Care for the time. Save a soul that is near as hell. Reclaim a backslider. Oh God. Reach out and touch somebody today. Oh God, they may be standing at a crossroad, hobbling between two opinions. Save somebody today. Let them make the choice of serving you and serving the devil. I place them in your care and in your hands that as they have an encounter with you, Lord, oh God Almighty, they will say yes. I'll serve you till my dying day. Into their hearts I pray that you'll enter. Forgive them of their sins. Cleanse them of all unrighteousness. From all inappropriateness. Where they have erred. Where they have blundered. Where they have gone wrong. Forgive them Lord. Help them to come to that place of acknowledging. That you are Lord and Savior. I place them in your care. Provide for them. Open doors for them. As they seek to turn over their lives to you. Lord, I pray, God, that you'll create ways and opportunities for them to survive. Strength for the journey. Preserve them along this Christian pathway as they make that decision. I put them in your loving care, God. As you care and cater and provide for this fresh fish in the salt sea and the birds of the air. Even so, you'll provide for them, Lord. As you have kept many of us to this day, keep them, Lord. Preserve them, Lord. I put them entirely into your care and into your protection. And I give you praise for salvation. I give you praise for deliverance. I give you praise for your breakthrough. And the healing that will now take place. Salvation! Salvation! Oh, red, rich, thick blood of Calvary! Redeemed! A lost soul even now. Bring them to the place of acknowledging that you are Lord, your Lord and Savior. Thank you for deliverance and salvation. In Jesus' name. Amen. Clap your hands for victory, everybody. I wouldn't want you to leave this altar without making a conscious decision what you will do about your life. Who will you serve? Who will you accept? Where will you want, would you want to spend your long eternity? In hell or in heaven? Who do you want to continue, who do you want to serve? Continue serving the devil? Or you want to just say, Lord, all to you I surrender. I'll start serving you on this day. Look what the Lord has done for you. Look where he has brought you from. Look how many hurdles, how many battles, how many furnaces, how many situations he have brought you through. What will you give him in exchange? Will you serve him? Will you accept him? If you will, accept him as Lord and Savior as you have come to this fasting. Raise your hand. Yes, 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 yes. Four hands going up. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Yes, yes. Five hands going up. Come on. Salvation is in the house. Somebody praise Almighty God. Somebody worship God in the house. God, you're not even excited. I'm rejoicing. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, we have collected good offering. But what is most outstanding today is that five souls have accepted Jesus Christ. Somebody rejoice.
and three water lane. Satan has lost the battle. Hell is defeated. And the church. Hallelujah. Come on, counselors. Take them. Take them, counselors. Hallelujah. Yes. You sit on the front bench. They'll be coming to you. If you're not ready, but still sit, they will call you and talk to you and counsel with you anyway. So, all right. Thanks for coming, bro. God bless you. Come on, put your hands together. Father, in the name of Jesus, this baby is not well. Devil, I lie you, I tell. Sicknesses of the devil. We send you back to the abyss. Echo Shatoria. Give me some olive oil. Father, touch this baby girl, Jesus Christ. Jesus, Limo Shatonia. Touch her, Lord. She cannot talk. She cannot express what is happening to her. But obviously, as says the mother, the baby not well. Live, baby, live. Jesus Christ, the church gone to sleep. Live, baby, live. Shatadabakosata. Live, baby girl, live. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. Life. Live, life, baby, life. live. Life in the name of Lord Jesus. Lord God Almighty, hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord God, oh, as Jairus' is daughter live, I pray that this baby oh, will God. live. Oh God, somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Lord God Almighty, as the boy in the upper room where Elisha left, came back, stretched himself out upon the baby boy, and the baby boy lived. Let this baby live. Lord God, as Jesus entered and passed through near, Lord God, the little boy who died and was about to be buried, Jesus said, stop the procession. Shaka Osaka, I stop Madden, I stop De La Pena, I stop every funeral home, I stop every mug, and I declare life. Life, life. Life. Come on, church. Yeah. Power is in the church. Life. Power is in the life. fasting. Live, baby, yeah. live. Hallelujah. Jesus. Glory to God. Every wheezing, every stomach problem, every belly problem. Lord God, everything that is functioning, that is not functioning the way how it should, I declare life. 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 Live, baby, live. Live, baby, live. Life, baby, life. Life, baby, life. Life, life, life. life. Let the redeemed of the Lord shout hallelujah. Look at the baby, look at the baby, good life, good life. Somebody say life. life Shine life, the camera, life, put the camera life, on the baby life. that somebody can see life. That a baby that was crying and dismal. Lord God is has life now. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Devil, you're a liar. Hallelujah. You're a deceiver. Hallelujah. Lord God Almighty, the church. Hallelujah. 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 Life, 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 life in the name of Jesus. Life, 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 life. Glory to the name of the Lord. Glory to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, church. Come on, church. Hallelujah. Come on, church. Life is on water. Fasting service. Hallelujah. Lord God, everything Hallelujah. that is on the inside. Hallelujah. Come, Pastor. Come, Pastor. Hallelujah. Take a hold of an echo. Shatonia. Come, Pastor's wife. Come, Pastor. Pastor's wife. Hell is defeated. And every other baby, every baby, whether they are here or they are not here, every child, every children, all that. Wherever they are, we declare wellness. Hallelujah. 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 Halleluj
there's a shift, there's a shift, hallelujah. There's a shift, hallelujah. There's a shift, hallelujah. There's a shift, hallelujah. Shut up, Cassata, shut up, Cassata, Bacassa, Lapa Cosa, quit to Cupo, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah. Devil, you're lost. Hallelujah. Satan, you lose the battle. Hallelujah. You lost the battle. Hallelujah. In Babylon, you lost the battle at the Red Sea. You lost the battle with the Egyptians. You lost the battle with all the others that you have tried. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to the most high God. Glory, 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 glory. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory, Jesus. Oh, yes. Every woman that is watching or elsewhere, and you have your baby, he or she may not be well. Right now, we transfer a similar power and anointing that will reach you in Falmouth. Healing. Reach you in D side. A D side coming on my spirit, you know. D side. Don't baby now dead on a D side. Oh, this side just coming at me. Oh, your name. Duncan's on this side and Clarkstone. And demons around the Kasakatakata. Kasakatakatukuti. Kanda Kasatoria. Somebody said this side, Duncan's Clarkstone. This side, Duncan, Clarkstone. In the name of Jesus. Canterbury, now wood. Bubu, 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 Manchester, man, they were Christian. Everything in our tummy come out. Every, de Every demon set at school and elsewhere come out. Touch that the Lord's anointed. A church of God pity them. We claim life over every woman's child. Lord God, from zero to to whatever age limit, as long as it's somebody's child or children, we declare wellness. Sit down on the front bench. A seed for her son that is in jail in America. Right now in the name of Jesus. Prison door. Papa, break up. Shackles. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Bow over. Lord God, cancellation of long-term sentence. We declare jailbreak. Deliverance, Lord God, bless her in return, and you will show up. Somebody praise God. 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 Oh, Hallelujah. God. My brothers and sisters, my time has expired. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your prayers. We continue to work together, partner to tear down the kingdom of darkness. Remember, the God who is able can deliver the captives and he can release the blessings god bless you one of our regular supporters of the online program here at montego bay and alien town sister charm he burnt out of england it's good to have your sister charm god bless you and we're happy that you were able to make it down this year for this great fasting god bless you my brothers and sisters from Linstead, from Spaulings, from all over, Duncan, Sri Yes, Kingston, all over, wherever you come from. Thanks for your prayers and your support. God bless you. It's over to the man in charge, Bishop Ruel Robinson. Until then, Shalom.
the servant of God. See what the Lord has done. What your platform has come to pass. See what? See what the Lord has done. Come on, singers, everybody. See what? everybody stretch your hands towards the direction of the pastor the preacher hallelujah hallelujah I wanted to take a minute and just strengthen the servant of God with prayer right now those on the virtual platform stretch out your hands with your faith in this direction there's over 2,000 online worshipers. Come on, take a minute. Let us pray for the servant of God. Father, in this fasting, we come again. We thank you for your servant who has ministered his soul out under the anointing. We ask for added strength. Revitalize him. In the name of Jesus, breathe upon him. Touch his wife, touch his family, touch his health, touch his ministry. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Glory to God, hallelujah. You may be seated, yes. Reverend, Reverend Deacon, Deacon Roden, Deacon Ellis, come and stand close. Moderator, come and stand close around the table. Reverend Francis, come and stand close. Come on. Reverend, how much of you? One, two, three, four, five. Come and stand close. Come and stand close. No. You sit. Hallelujah. Father, we ask you to sanctify the bread and the wine. To your glory to your honor in the name of Jesus finish the work right now in the name of Jesus hallelujah glory to God listen you four take one section one section one section one section you serve the restroom quickly for those online I prepare you for sup for communion. While I was there yesterday, the Lord dropped it in my spirit to seal this five day fasting with communion. Seal it. Yes. Get something. Get a piece of crackers. Get some. Get some grape juice. Those online. Get something by faith. Get something by faith. We're going to take supper. You're going to break fast. Some of you, we're going to break fast with. Just take quickly. As long as you're a Christian. Jesus. Come on now. As long as you are a Christian. As long as you are a Christian. Do it fast for me. Jesus. See what the Lord has done. See what Come on, singers. Come on, singers. Oh, 
Let's come. Come on, musician. Come on, rhythm. Come on, bass. Come on, come on, organist. Let me hear you. Come on, drummers. Come on, singers. Put those voices together. What are you praying for? Make sure the books. See what the Lord has done. song again see what the Lord has done see what the Lord has done see what the Lord has done come on singers come on Shippers, sing that song. Something is going to happen. See what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. Those on the virtual platform has come to pass. See what the Lord. We are over subscribing the house. Come on. Tell them to hurry at the back. Tell them to hurry at the back. Their bodies now. Come on, strengthen them, Lord. Yes, we are that close. We are that close. Come on now, everybody. Uh -huh. If you are sick in your body, there will be a miracle. Come on, see what the Lord. Everybody. 
everybody, stand with me, everybody. See what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. What you prayed for has come to pass. See what the Lord. I'm waiting on the rest to connect here. Dear bread and wine, see what the Lord. There's going to be a miracle. There's going to be a miracle. See what the Lord has done. What you pray for has come to pass. See what the Lord has done. Per adventure, your mind slip while in the house of God. For adventure, you never ask God to forgive you of your sins when you walk in here. I want everybody right now to take a minute and clear up the vessel before we take supper. Those online right now, come on. Come on, everybody. Whisper that prayer of repentance. Come on, onliners, pray. Find something, even lemonade right now. Pull something from the fridge. Pull something from the pantry. A piece of biscuit, a little water. It doesn't matter. You may not have got the chance to prepare. But God said he's going to do a new thing in your life. You're going to seal this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I hope the ushers are ready for me. You're well served. With your heads bowing. There are two lids on this couplet. One to give you access to the bread. You lift it off first. And then the other will give you access to the wine. Hallelujah. Could you take the bread in your hand. With your heads bowing. Paul said, that which I receive of the Lord, that which also I delivered unto you, that the same night in which he was betrayed took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it, and he gave it to them, and instruct them, take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. You may now eat in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Somebody worship him in this fasting. Worship God. I don't care which church you're from. We are not sending you worse back to your home church. But better. Mm. Mm. Oh God. And after the same manner. He took the cup and when he supped it, he said unto his disciples, Take, drink. This is the New Testament in my blood. As often as you drink this, you do show my death 
till I come. You may now drink in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody. Come on, raise up those hands now. Raise up those hands. Raise those hands. Come on. Come on, raise those hands. Help me clear up, Help me clear up Reverend. Help me clear up. Thank you, singers. Come on, somebody raise your hand right now. And you need to give God thanks for something. Come on, come on, open your mouth. Just thank you, musician. Thank you, singers. Could you just lift up those hands right now? Let us be real. Let us open our mouth and give Him thanks. We are drawn closer to Him even closer than the five days of fasting come on now open your mouth come on give him a praise give him a praise that growth is gone that cancer is gone that hemorrhage is gone that lupus is gone that prostate challenge is gone that heart that is enlarged shall shrink the arteries that are building up black shall be cleared the cataract is gone come on praise him come on come on praise him praise him the cancer of the blood the cancer of the bone Oh God, oh God, that cancer of the chest, that cancer of the stomach. Oh, somebody help me now, help me. That tumor on the brain. right across the world not just in three water lane oh somebody glorify him hallelujah 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. he touched me oh, oh he, he touched me, me. Something happened, happened. and now and he touched me, he touched me, and made, and made me whole. Could I ask the ministers, evangelists, to stand around the table and pray for them now? Yes. Oh, he touched me. He touched me. And all the joy. And all the joy that floods my soul. Something happened. Something. Reverend Fagan, 
Anything that God's hand is on, the devil fight most. Could you stand down here? I invited this minister to pray for him today. I want to pray for him. Sister Charm of England, could you come and stand beside him? Sister Annie out of Linstead, yes, Linstead proper. If you're in your house, come and stand. Hallelujah. Sister Kayla, come and stand for grandma and uncle. In the name of Jesus. Sister University. Yes, come on, stand. I believe God. I believe God. I believe God. Sister Roxon Powell, are you in the house? Come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He touched me. Come on. He touched me. Stretch your hands towards these, the men of God and women of God. We we'll lay hands on the table and let's go to God in prayer. Eternal Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your anointing that is now moving in the house. I place my hand on a granddaughter. On behalf of our grandmother, I place my hand upon a niece on behalf of her uncle who met in an accident. Thank you, Lord. You're a prayer answering God. And even for herself, a student, I pray for a breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Your daughter that has timed this fasting from England and God she booked her ticket to be here what a faith all that she's praying for I ask her right now to seal and sign it in the name of Jesus I consecrate these bottles of oil now according to your word. Here is Annie Hines, God, you know her. Father, all the way out of Linstead, I place my hand on her another time. You are the way maker. You are the problem solver. You are the miracle worker. In the name of Jesus, every giant, every mountain that's standing in our life, I move them now under the authority of the Holy Ghost. Father, here is your son. Oh God, there is anointing upon him. There is a race that he must run and a victory to be won. 
The devil knows it and God wants to sieve him as wheat. But I pray, oh God, for a touch upon his life, upon his marriage, upon his ministry. Hallelujah. Somebody shout life. Come on, fasting, shout life. Come on, shout life. Life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You're a God of a second and a third, fourth, fifth chance. Let it be his right now. In the name of Jesus. Father, I touch your daughters. God, they have traveled all the way from Kingston to be here. God, let it be in the name of Jesus. How can mothers tender care cease towards the child they bear? In the name of Jesus. I speak it now mingled with faith. In the name of Jesus. Here is another Kingstonian God. She's here by faith waiting on you. Lord from head to toe. Let the anointing flow. Let the miracle flow let the breakthrough flow every document card document traveling document oh god almighty even a bird paper let the anointing flow upon it in the name of jesus the bed she sleeps on the shoes she wear the clothes she wear the job she is employed to in the name of jesus Touch her mother, touch her siblings. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, everything that is on the table, every bottle of water, every note, every request, every oil, every container, oh God, whatsoever they represent, unfinished house, God Almighty, we award husband, we award spouse, we award child or children, oh God a spirit of luck I release a blessing on it now in the name of Jesus look what you have done come on somebody raise your hand look what you have done father they are over 2,000 worshipers online I pray in the name of Jesus all that we have asked for this table all that we have asked for these who are standing in the name of Jesus let it be now in the name of Jesus Lord I raise this bunch of keys to you sanctify the vehicle oh God remember brother and sister Palmer Connecticut brother and sister Green and daughter Connecticut reverend and sister Newland Connecticut Lord the Beckford family in Brooklyn the Browns family oh God Mother Hines and family oh God Almighty Bishop Neil Morris of Kierman I ask for a miracle a breakthrough for his family and ministry in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I pray for Jolene and family in England Reverend Sharon Palmer and family with Joseph Rutan their father I commit to you now Mother Watson Penzina Robinson and children Sister Heart of Connecticut oh God and many others Sophia of Canada Claudette, her sister of Linstead, Matthew that you have rescued from the jaws of death. I pray God that you will continue to perfect the healing. Sophia Morgan, Stacy Morgan, oh God, Peanut Man daughter, you know her, who asked me to stand in the gap. The Bulgin's family, can you touch her 
Teacher Johnson, this side. Teacher Wright, this side. Oh God. Mother Small. Daddy Small. And the Small's family. The Robinson's family. Olivia. Oriel. In the name of Jesus. Somebody raise your hand now. Start to call your children name. I pray for every man's child. Small and great. Lord God. Remember Sister Parker. Anita Parker. Her husband. Remember Lord. Lily. And Lily's sister. Touch in the name of Jesus. Oh God. Oh God. Hear my cry. Hear my call. Remember Lily friend. Fantasia. Fantasia mother. Touch her in the name of Jesus. Every man's child. Come on, call your children name again. Every man's child. Whether one to ten or to seventeen. I cover. I cover. Every worshiper online, God, that is a parent, I cover both parent and children in the name of Jesus. Those who are behind bars, those who are sick with cancer and other terminal sickness, we look to you, Lord. Our eyes are upon you. In the name of Jesus, remember Kiana. Can you just touch her now? Remember Kiana's mother. Remember Zach. Remember Cody. Remember Nelly's child. Remember, oh God. Remember, oh God. Those that stood in the gap. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus. Let it be right now. In the name of Jesus, somebody glorify God. Somebody glorify God. Somebody glorify God. Yes, listen, brother and sister Green, I want you to hold hands and walk down here out of Cayman. Hold hands. Where are you? Where are you? Come. Join hands. Come. The devil is a liar. We worship you, Lord. You're worthy to be praised. Come on, give me that on the, give me that on the keyboard. I married this couple. Amen. Their firstborn, the devil. Come up, jump up the aisles. Come up. Hug up each other. This is the greens. God, they have sown. They have cured. They have ministered. You are a miracle working God. What you have done for others in Linstead let it manifest itself in Montego Bay and in the Cayman Island. The devil struck, but he's a liar. I release life upon your son. I release life upon your daughter. Let it be in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Let it be. We give you glory. 
ever not lose it. Convert every disappointment into appointment. In the name of Jesus. Touch their business. Touch their bodies. Touch their house. Lord, that which have start in their lives, bring it to bring it to closure. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Where is where is where is where is where is Sister Bennett? Come here, Sister Bennett. Sing that song. Come here. Where is Sister Benny? Come on. Come here, Sister Man. Manager. Yes. Jesus. Do you have oil in the back? Do you have oil in the back? Take her right now. Finish with you. Take off her dress. Do you do an anointing? Hallelujah. Come here. Come here, Deacon Ellis. Come here. Toyo. Toyo. Take off his shirt and his pants. Anoint him. And bring back the olive oil to me quickly. We lift. All the glory. The glory. We worship you. We worship you, oh Lord. You are worthy. You are worthy to be praised. Come on, somebody.
section and that section you are worthy tell them even if the bottles are not filled tell them to take it come we lift you we lift you we lift you Father, we cannot thy purpose see, but all is well that is done by thee. We have prayed, 
we ask you to intervene but Lord you decide based on your glory and your knowledge I pray for this grieving gro groaning crying mother having lost her only child will you touch her now hallelujah I know him by name I know him by name very low father I place my hand on this your daughter that is confined to this chair in the name of Jesus be he stroke be it accident in the name of Jesus let it be right now God I place my hand on your daughter in the name of Jesus there is an appointment at the doctor's office God I declare it chancellor because your power is moving in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Lord I'm asking for a miracle but if you choose God for the operation to take place will you guide the hand of the surgeon in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus stand with me everybody I know the peace I know him by name I know him by name could you take off your shoes one foot of your shoes raise it in the air right now Raise up your slipper, your shoe, your sandals. In the name of Jesus. I know, I know. I know the peace speaker. I know him by name. I'm glad. slip of the shoe father as a symbol I raise this shoe every worshiper is raising their shoe you said Lord you have given us dominion to tread upon serpents upon scorpion upon adder oh God sometimes we don't know where we walk but your preserving power do the job every shoe that is raised I give them authority over demons and devils over every sneer of the fowler 
over every plan of the adversary God your people shall be blessed anywhere the sole of your feet shall touch I declare prosperity I declare dominion I declare victory I declare victory oh God I dab the blood of Jesus upon every shoe oh God if there's a foot that is sick elephantitis is swollen by other sickness it shall dwindle and be healed in the name of Jesus 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 I declare life come on I declare life you shall not die in the name of Jesus. before the time in the name of but you Jesus. shall live Hallelujah. and declare in the, name of Jesus. the glory, glory of God Jesus. Hallelujah come on Thank say with me and yea though I walk through the valley yeah, though I walk to the valley of the shadow of death of the shadow of death, together I will fear no, no evil, evil for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies thou anointest my head with oil my cup run it over surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord Forever and ever. Forever and ever and ever. Somebody oh, lift up that as loud as you can. Show glory. glory. Come on, musician. Glory. 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 Come on, come on, the last and seventh time, come on, get in some oxygen, come on now, shout on top of your lungs, glory! I wish if there's a praise in the house. Lord God, I wish if there's a praise in the house. Hallelujah. Oh God, I wish if there's a praise in the house. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, turn to three or so neighbor, tell them finish. Seal and sign. In Jesus' name. Come on, tell somebody, finish, seal and sign. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Hey! 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 Hello! Hello! Hello, church! Hello! Seal and sign. Seal and sign. Glory. Seal and sign. Jesus. Seal and sign. Jesus. Seal and sign. Seal and sign. Come on, seal and sign. Name of Jesus. Seal and sign. Seal and sign. Seal and sign. Name of Jesus. Seal and sign. Seal and sign. Seal and sign in the name of Jesus. I know him by name. Glory to God. I know him by name. Listen, listen, we close this week. Go home. Your housewives have so many things to do. Run on home, do them. Next week, I see you in church Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon, and Sunday evening. Next week, continue our night fasting. 
starting from two o'clock starting from two o'clock you're gonna start to cut off from food from two o'clock go up you're gonna put away food we're going to finish it off each night at church bring a friend tell somebody for those who are seeking for the baptism of the holy ghost come we will pray with you for those who want a refilling come we will pray with you amen if the holy ghost is good for pastor he's good for you too young people young converts we invite back those who have given your life to the lord today we invite you back come back come and worship god amen it's serious business in the name of the Lord those who are going to work come from work come straight to church let's seek God together there is somebody um, our deacon usher has changed for could you just come and talk to him in the name of the Lord God bless you if you can head to the back I would encourage you to do so hallelujah come here Saint and girlfriend come here come here come here in the name of Jesus come here in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, come here, in the name of Jesus.